Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Hi. I didn't use a password. You didn't, you didn't require a password. No, I didn't ask. That is so strange. Sometimes Zoom, strange enough, will ask like one person for a password and will ask another person not for passwords. I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, let's, let, I'm just going to double check and see if there is. Um, no, doesn't look like there is a password. That is so strange. Uh, let's see. Hello. Hey, Lila. Hi. <laughs> I really wanted to check out your video you just posted, Alyssa. Oh yeah. With Tantra in it, I'm like, ooh. I Coming know. For you. That's a big one for me. I'm like that's like the whole thing I've been hiding from for like four years now. Like it's been a secret. <laughs> I'm excited for you to come out with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's and it made so much sense when I was thinking about it, but like it'll expand me as well, like my knowledge on it and. So I'm excited. Yeah, we get to talk and play. Uh, so we're so I'm trying to we're trying to navigate. Uh, Ashtar is having some trouble coming into the group, so we're figuring this out. So just one mm. moment, you guys. Um, and here's Anya. Okay, beautiful. Yay. Yeah. Where is our Ashtara? <laughs> Hi, Anya. Thank you. Hello, oh God. You're like surrounded by green gorgeousness. No. Tell us. <laughs> Costa Rica. <laughs> so oh, it is beautiful. <laughs> oh, <my goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty. <laughs> Freaking cows have just shown up in my yard a few days ago, and now I have like these personal cows. It feels like, <laughs> like hanging out <laughs> in front of my kitchen, grazing throughout the day. And I don't know where they are right now, but it's been <laughs> they believe they're really sacred. They, oh, they are. Oh, how oh, here she is. Okay, Christmas sent them. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, super duper. Here we all are. And this feels good. Yahoo! Yay. Okay, I don't know what was happening with the password thing. Sometimes that can happen with Zoom, you guys. And this is for everybody for future references that Zoom is just Zoom. <laughs> and when things come up, we just try to figure them out as we go, so. Mm. All right. Beautiful quantum accelerators. Welcome, welcome, beautiful ones. Today, I'm very, very excited. Um, we're going to go, first and foremost, we're going to talk about the next steps with your group. That's what I want to kind of focus on to begin. Um, it just looks like, Ashtar, it looks like you just dropped off into space. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to, so yeah, so first and foremost, we will go ahead and talk about next steps with group. Um, I'm wanting to hear where all of you guys are with your group and how that is going. Um, then we'll have, each of us will have about five-ish minutes to kind of share um, so we can do some like personal uh, some personalized coaching here. And then we will dive into money tracking because it feels like that is the place that we want to go. And that's the place that I want to go. <laughs> not the place that you guys want to go, but we're going there. <laughs> you have said yes to being here. And so in one way or another, there is a part of you that wanted to go there. So yes. Yes. Um, Me needs to go there yes and let me just say guys when i started tracking my money that's when money started to really pour into my existence like really literally i'm not kidding when i say that money loves organization 
-hmm. And if we can become next level organized with our money, it's like, it literally is one of the most empowering things that we can do for ourselves. And I'm speaking from a place of personal experience because I was the woman who like literally would get sick to my stomach when I went in and looked at my bank account. And that was like, you know, three years ago. And so I, yeah, so just, just from a place of personal experience and personal empowerment, um, I have found that when I've actually started to look at my numbers. And so for those of you who are using QuickBooks and Mint, I actually have, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. And, but what it feels most empowering for me, because I did use QuickBooks for two years of my life. And so I know how it feels to use those programs. And I also know that, that is, as much as that starts to organize your money, it can also be a way of not looking at your money because it's organizing it for you. And money loves to be not just organized, it also loves to be looked at. It loves to be seen. It likes like every single number that you can look at and pay attention to, it gets stoked. <laughs> That's how it feels for me in my existence anyway. And so if you guys are using QuickBooks or Mint or all these other programs that really organize it for you and just plop in the numbers for you, I would still recommend going in once a week and like really looking at each and every number and each and every, each and every, ex and like really looking at your expenses and really looking at everything like so in depth. That's why I've taken myself off of QuickBooks and off of those systems because I like to, I like to put every single number that comes in. I like to type it in by hand because I'm having, I'm creating a personal relationship with everything that comes in and a personal relationship with everything that goes out. And that's unbelievable. Like it, it's actually, I love it. I like look forward to the days that I'm going to do track my numbers now. And I track my numbers now just about twice a week, tw like once to twice a week. But we'll get into all of that, all the juicy details. First and foremost, let's dig into where we left off, which um, all of you guys had your own personalized home play that you were assigned uh, individually. And I saw many of you guys mm -hmm. were playing with that and I'm really excited about that. And I would like to um, now talk about what you guys actually are going to do with those, uh, with your type form questionnaires. So let's go ahead and yeah, first and foremost, let's do a little five minute. Each person gets a five minutes just to blast in with where you're at from last week, how things are going for you, just so I can get a feel into the energy of the group and where we want to go today. And, and yeah, so yeah, we'll take about five minutes per, per person and we'll just, we'll just, this is called laser coaching and I love laser coaching because it's like, <laughs> we just, I just focus in on what it is that you are needing. And so this is our opportunity for that. And so this will be a popcorn style um, and we'll go from here. So I'll go. Um, I think I might have jumped the gun because I, I did my questionnaire and then I posted it. So was I, supposed to it? It? I did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, okay. So what did you, so, post with, what did you post with it? Um, I, I did what you were saying in like kind of using your thing as a template, but obviously I didn't do my celebration for my Facebook live. So I just, I did offer a 60 minute. I think that it'd be fun to just kind of give them just yeah to just dive in with them and um yeah i then and did i you posted did you give a time that you're going to do that so like do the celebration where you're going to like pick a name yeah yeah cool. so i put the times in and um ashtara was like may 22nd was about the time about two weeks so i put it out for there and then the very next day on my facebook live is when i'll announce it and uh yeah, I like the little hat idea, so I thought I would do that. Um, I did have something come up that was emotional that I actually wanted to share. I mean, I obviously have really looked at it and done well with it, but I all of this like being seen, I noticed that I was going through, I've been calling birthing pains because this week I've had, we've had two people that um, have given babies <laughs> or have birthed babies. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I started to notice maybe some sa self-sabotaging thoughts or feelings coming up. And, um, you know, I did a video on that, but I noticed that I was looking 
for like your acknowledgement more than what I mean and it's like my first thought was like well she's the mother and she has all of these babies and like I know what it's been like to keep up on her 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 page and her page and her page and all of our sisters and encouraging them so like I had the logic there, but I, I played in that and noticed that maybe that was from my own mother and not having like, and then I took it even deeper. So I just wanted to say that, I mean, that was a beautiful awareness that I had that and um, that I do really, I do know that you fully support and acknowledge and see, and I'm so grateful for all of that. But yeah, that that came up for me. And then just, uh, if I still in my five minutes, really just having these clients wanting like getting a hold of me and like trying to be back in my presence and I'm like whoa 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 because I, I really I'm, I'm doing something right now and like I wasn't really comfortable and then the numbers that they're throwing at me definitely raised and I mean that's great and I want to be like yes 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 but I also got when I jumped the gun with my questionnaire to slow down and just to kind of see where they're at and and just uh, slow down so that's where I'm at Mm. Beautiful. I'm honoring you for paying attention and paying attention to what's coming up and what's alive for you and then readjusting. Mm. And this goes for everybody is that, you know, on this journey of our entrepreneurial journey, this has to do with figuring out how your energy likes to play in this, in this realm, right? I think as purpose-driven, entrepreneurial, ambitious women, we can often throw ourselves into something like with full on excitement and enthusiasm. And then it's like, and then all of a sudden it's like too much, too much, too much, too much. It's like, <laughs> and this happens all the time. And I laugh when it comes up and you might feel the same way, Alyssa. It's like, it's that we like ask the universe, we're like, I want more. I'm ready for more universe. Give me more. And then the universe is like, here's all of this moreness. And we're like, I just need rest. I want, I don't need more. I'm, I just want to be, I just want to silence and quiet and peace in my life. And the universe is like, here's silence, peace and quiet in your life. And you're like, but why isn't the universe giving me more? <laughs> it's real. It's real. And so just being paying attention that like that this is always sort of like we put ourselves out there and then we get to kind of figure out how much of ourselves we 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 uh, we dive in with. And so this is kind of a playfulness of like figuring out how your energy likes to play mm -hmm. in this realm. Yeah. I want to acknowledge that um the way, you know, I love that you're bringing up this feeling of like the mothering and the acknowledgement and really desiring more acknowledgement. And I, I honestly, the way that I coach, I do this a little bit on, I, not a little bit, I do this fully on purpose. I've that, noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I've that I, have, that I, have, I play with masculine and feminine energies, right? And so what I do with my clients, and you guys may or may not have realized this already, but you probably will eventually, is that, in, is that I, and I talk about this in my program, Sensual Success Strategy, so I will, and I'm going to put this out there so you guys can maybe invite it as a, as a technique within your coaching business as well. Here's what I have noticed is that when I, so I play in the realm of masculine and feminine energy. I coach myself in masculine energy. That means that every day I show up for myself, every day I take myself out on a run or do my exercise, every day I eat, I like feed the body really well, every day I am sure that my personal development is being taken care of, I am going to kick my own ass in terms of my own goals, and I'm going to be very masculine in the way that I move towards my goals. I coach myself in masculine energy. Now, I coach my clients in feminine energy, where I show up and I give, I, give a I give the teaching, I give the topic, I coach, I'm like here for you guys when I'm here for you guys. But in the, in the times when I'm not fully on, I do something and write this down, guys, it's called the lean back. And the lean back is the, it's me stepping into feminine energy because when I lean back, it gives my clients an opportunity to step into masculine energy because there's a, there's a force on our planet called polarity. And if I am stepping into masculine energy, that means you guys are leaning back in feminine energy. And so when I lean back in feminine energy, you guys pull forward, you guys come forward into your masculine and you guys are willing. And so that's why I don't go after you guys. And I don't, 
because I play hard to get, right? It's like, it's the feminine energy. It's like, it's like, I want you guys to come at, I want you guys to come towards me. I want you guys to step into your masculine. If I'm always showing up and being like, you're doing great. You're awesome. Do the home play. You're doing some, you're doing phenomenally. And, and I'm that kind of coach. That's like always up in your face, like telling you, you have to do things. You guys are going to lean back in your feminine and I'm going to be pulling you along. And we don't want clients that we pull along, right? We certainly do not want clients that we pull along and we don't want clients that rely on us. That's not my, that's not my job here. I'm making you (laughs) self-reliant. I'm creating clients that are able to do this work on their own, right? I want to have clients that are able, that like come to me just because they want to work with me out of pleasure and not come to me because they want to work with me because I'm, because I'm pulling them along. Does that make sense? And so my energy with my coaching energy is I'll show up in a masculine way here, but then in the, in our time off, I, I will lean back because I want you guys to show up 333% and fully and create clients that are like, that are ready, that are like able to do, able to show up for themselves. Does that make sense? Yes. And so it's a, te- it's just a technique that I've brought that I have figured out. Cause when I first started coaching guys, I was like so masculine in the way that I coached. And I found that I had a lot of codependent <laughs> clients, people that were really relying on me to reach out to them like once a week and, and like, be like, Hey, how's things, how are things going? Like, what's going on with you? And, and what I realized is that I didn't want to create codependency in my, mm-hmm. in my client relationships is that I wanted to like lean back and let my clients fully rise into who they are meant to be as coaches and, and mentors. And so I'm glad that you brought this up, Alyssa, because this gives this, like, this is something that I would invite you guys to bring into your coaching businesses, right? Because, mm, because what I'm actually hearing from you is that all of these people are all of a sudden coming to you and they're like really, really wanting you and they're really wanting your attention and they're really wanting like, they're really wanting so much from you. This would be your opportunity to lean back and yeah. just let them know that eventually you will be open for business. Eventually you'll be op- you will have, you know, particularly set prices with a particularly set container. But right now you are not, you're not necessarily taking on new clients. Mm-hmm. And, that's the, and that's the lean back. And sometimes that can feel a little challenging because we want so badly to like, hold everybody and make and let everybody know that we love them and that they're ready to rise right but our job is actually to hold our own energy in this most epic way so that when we are ready to hold people people will feel so so freaking held by us does that make sense mm-hmm. yes yeah so i think it was actually good for me too though because like i've never actually really felt that need for that acknowledgement for the the feminine too and it it really i did feel that that lean and that kind of and i i see that it is i have created that so today was a shift today i actually did create this i even had another client reach out and i was like i'm not working right now but i'm working on this the most amazing thing birthing it and i cannot wait to present it to you you know so it was the lean yes That's amazing, and I love it. It felt very good. Yes. Organized. (laughs) Yes, yes. Yeah, and this is the thing, guys, is that the universe doesn't work on time. The universe works on alignment, right? And so we can trust that if clients are really stoked to work with us, but we're not necessarily ready to bring on clients, that we can trust without, without a shadow of a doubt, with complete certainty, faith, and trust, that those clients will still be ready to work with us when we are ready to work with them because the universe works in alignment. Mm-hmm. You know, there's been women, there are women that work with me now who watched me for two years before they said yes to working with me, right? They like, they've been like in the shadows watching my Facebook lives and they never commented and then they never liked and then they all of a sudden start working with me and I'm like, oh, this is great. But, they're, but it's like, I have to, so that's with, with, within this realm, it's like the trust is such an epic piece of it because it really is about knowing that we will work with our perfect clients immediately and as soon as alignment is, as soon as alignment happens because the universe doesn't work on time, the universe works on alignment. Cha. 
Okay, beautiful. Is there anything else that you are feeling like you are needing support with at this particular time? No, thank you. Well, you are so beautiful and I love you so much. And I love your, I just, yeah, everything about you is so phenomenally epic. <laughs> And, I love you and I just too. want to acknowledge that like I ha that I've witnessed you come into the group of Ashtara and I've witnessed you go into the group of Chelsea's and I've witnessed you giving these amazing testimonials. And I truly just want to celebrate you for being a sister that, that honors sisters, like that let that like really like goes into these groups and like, and like fully participates. I'm seeing you fully participate in Chelsea's group. I'm seeing you fully participate in all of these groups and like, well, how we how we put our energy out there is how we receive energy and how we get energy back. And so your group is going to continue to rise and continue to flourish because of your participation moving out in other people's groups. Mm. Cha, celebrating you, beautiful. Celebrating you all. Yes. All right. <laughs> Yahoo! Okay, so popcorn style, whoever would like to go next is welcome to go next. Um, okay, I'll go. <laughs> uh, so, I feel like I haven't been really productive in the realm in the virtual realm in the way that I've wanted to be in the past week and yeah I feel like I've like been like clearing space in my life but then also having like a big huge input with this new relationship in my life too that is like anchoring and integrating and um, been a big big piece for me to receive so um, yeah, that's like been, but, um, but I feel very ready now to get clear on my next best step. And I'm not fully clear with the options, um, which the, the uh, request to begin, start a group um, or well, I mean, yes, like that, that's there, but the other piece for me that I've been like, okay, I need to get this out like ASAP, like I already, I wanted it out by the full moon and I don't think it's going to happen, but um, that is just to launch again, the uh, another liquid crystalline cleanse like offering and I want it to, I want to have like a lead page for it and I want it to just be, it's, like it's next version and because I want to start it on the 22nd which is yeah not much more than a couple of weeks away so um because that's just the time frame that I have to to do it here too that feels aligned and all so there's this part of me that's like if I try and put this energy into beginning a group that's gonna take away from that it's gonna take extra days away you know from from getting that launched which which feels like the most important for me to get that launch sooner than later to give it the space time the, um, that I want it to have, that I feel like it, it deserves and like will be beneficial for, for clients as well. <laughs> so yeah, that's where uh, this, yeah, this stuff. <laughs> Did I just meet me? Okay, what is the actual, okay, so I know that you said you wanted to do it on the full moon what is your next goal date for launching the crystalline cleanse oh well i just wanted to have it like ideally shared by the full moon um but when so what's the date of the full moon again the, the seventh um it, so it could be yeah it, it's just gonna at this point it's like just as soon as i can get it um, well the seventh is tomorrow <laughs> right right so it's not, yeah that's not happening um no it is happening yes you have you've got a whole day you've got a day to create a lead page you can create a lead page in 15 minutes oh you don't know me <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. okay let's I, I, okay i want to believe i want to believe <laughs> All right, yeah, but I don't feel sparked. I, tomorrow, now, I do feel sparked, Anya, so we're gonna do this, and this is gonna be for the benefit of everybody in the whole group, you, okay? 
Okay. Um, give me one second. Good. Even if it's, yeah, by the eighth, the eighth could, like. Let's, let's go for the seventh. Let's go for the seventh. I have my, like, whole first of half of my day tomorrow is, like, I have, is the town mission. And so, well, what are you doing today? And then I have, um, well, for the rest of the, I, I have something this evening, but I, so I have, like, I don't know, a window of a few hours. That, that I can devote to it. So I don't know if that's quite enough yet. Um, I'm, the eighth like feels like- We're about to do this. In, we're like, about to do this. Be, not, we're about to do it in 15 minutes. Okay, everybody get their journals oh out. Everyone okay. get their journals out. Uh -uh. Go grab your journals if you don't have your journals or get, or get something to type. We're going to create a sales page right now. Even if you don't have, even if you don't necessarily have your course created yet, I want you guys to just feel this from desire, okay? As if you have something epic. Like you don't even have to have the content and context of your entire course built out to create a sales page. This is how I design my courses. <laughs> a name comes into my mind. I create a sales page. I do all of my launch strategy and then I create the program. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like, you guys don't have to have everything ready to create a sales page. So my friends, we're going to create a landing page. Now landing pages and sales pages are very different landing pages. And I'm assuming you're talking about a sales page Anya, when you talk about a landing page. Yes. Yeah, I would like to make sales. Yes. <laughs> a landing page is simply like, it's basically like a, um, it has like some text on it, just like a little bit of text. And then it has a place where people can fill in their name and their email addresses. And a landing page is an opportunity for you to collect emails. A okay. sales page is basically the breakdown of what's inside of your program. And at the end of that page, it'll, there'll be an offer for people to actually buy from you. So I'm assuming that you're talking about a sales page when you're yeah. talking about a landing page. Yeah. Cool. So with that being said, I just want, so I want, would love for you to just feel into your heart and feel into your desires here around what it is, how you want to actually language for your sales page. Okay. Anya. Okay. 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 Still with us? Yes. Okay. Right here. Okay, so first and foremost, a big piece here, guys, is that we want, don't want to have massive paragraphs because that's a bore to read. How many of you guys, just by a show of hand, will go to a sales page and you won't actually read all the text? You'll just look at sort of the pictures, you'll get in the feeling of it, and then you'll buy the program, right? Okay. Almost everybody raised their hands. Uh, that's how I do it. I've like, I won't buy from somebody that I haven't been sort of following for a while. And I sort of just have, get a vibe from her. I'll go to her sales page and I will not look at, I will not read her text. I'm just like, I don't need to waste my time reading this text. I already know that I want to buy this. <laughs> and so this is, so we can remember this when we're creating our sales pages is that most people don't read text. <laughs> And that's just the reality of it. It's good to have text because it can look pretty and it can look professional. But honestly, guys, it's less about what you say and it's more about how you say it. Okay, so on your sales page, often you start with, a, with like a beautiful banner photo, something like that, which you probably already have, Anya, right? You have a banner photo, banner, mm -hmm. well, I can't say those words, banner photo for, mm -hmm. Crystalline cleanse um, that I can use. I mean, I have one that I use. Like uh, um, I have uh, loads of photos that I could yeah. use. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll forget. <laughs> so, what What is the web page that you? What are the web, What's the website that you actually use for for creating a, for creating a sales page? I haven't ever used one, but I. So you're thinking about doing this. So you're when you say a landing page, you're thinking about just putting it out there on Facebook and Instagram. No, no, 
no, my, I have another friend. She was like, I want to see you make a sales page for this, like a, its own web page um, to share. Yeah. But um, I, I mean, I have attempted on um, lead pages before. I like began one a while ago, not for this, but for a different offering. And I didn't finish it. So I've never actually completed a, a sales page. Is but that what you're pages, going to be using lead pages? Or are you going to use um, something else? Um, I think I would just use lead pages unless I was guided to something else that felt easier or better. Cool. How much is lead pages a month? I think it's like 40 for the Cool. Yeah. What, yeah. What do you use or recommendation? Well, I've you, I WordPress. have used for many, many years, I've used WordPress, but that's, yeah. um, but now I use Kajabi. I love Kajabi, but honestly guys, um, Kajabi is like a full, it's like a, I love it because it's like, it gives me everything that I need. I can, it's like, it's everything. Kajabi is everything, but it's also $200 a month. And so if you're just getting started, I probably wouldn't use Kajabi. I probably, okay. I would probably use landing pages or something like well, that. I wanna, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, cause I feel like landing pages is very easy to use. I feel like it's, yeah, I, I, I've never used it, but I, but from their advertising, it looks like it's like one of those web pages that you can pretty much easily navigate. That's my idea of it. Yeah. Um, okay. So also Anya, have you ever considered like, just like hiring somebody and letting them do your lead pages? I've, I've considered it. <laughs> I'm just thinking like if it takes you, if it like feels like it's going to take you a long time, it might just be more productive to just hire someone to rock and roll your lead pages. They can create it in like three maybe, minutes. Maybe, but I mean, I'm still going to have to like just copy and paste all the content in the pictures and then have them put okay. it together. If I don't know. Having, I don't think if you're just having that much trouble navigating like lead pages, then I would, I would seek outer, outer help. I don't know. It's, it's probably, it's just like perfectionist. Okay. Don't be a perfectionist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Easier said than done. I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Beautiful. But one. So it, it won't be, I have it like everything that I have, like I, I have all the content written for what I would want Perfect. to put on there. I've done Perfect. The pictures. I so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the template. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you guys the template here of how to do a really, really simple, easy land or sales page. So you already have everything written. So just write down what I'm about to like this template that I'm about to give you. And then you can just plug it into landing pages and be ready to go. Okay, are we ready? Everybody ready? Okay. So my friends, we, you will first and foremost have a beautiful banner photo. Like Lila, you already have like your beautiful Empress of Empowerment banner photo. And I believe, you know, uh, Alyssa and Ashtara both made these beautiful banner photos as well. And Anya, you have tons of photos. I know that for sure. Okay, so then define what it is. First and foremost, you're going to define what it is. Like, uh, is it a high-end one-on-one coaching? Or is it a 14-day challenge? Or is it a five-week program? Define how many people you're holding space for, if you have a number. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys here, let's see. That's loading very slowly. Okay. I shall give you example. See how there's, oh, do you see, do you, do you guys see the quantum accelerator page here? Cool. Mm -hmm. So you see how there's a banner photo here? And then you see how I'm saying how many months it is and how many women I'm holding space for. And then a 
a short, potent paragraph, personally welcoming your ideal, perfect client. This is like, um, you're, you're pretty much like trying to get excited, excitement here. So the way that I put it was just uh, multidimensional midwives on a mission to serve the birthing of abundance consciousness through the portal of your sacred business. Right. And so that's like, that's me kind of grabbing and like bringing it like for you beautiful ones who are like, Ooh, that sounds like something that could be potentially interesting for me. Short potent paragraph. And then the next, um, and to uh, like separate text busyness. So like, that's why I like really kind of keep these, like keep a lot of space between each of your, your, te your um, paragraphs. Just cause it kind of, just cause it's really easier to read that way. Now, things that you can put in here is you can put a picture of yourself. You do want to like introduce yourself or just sit. I don't know if I did in quantum. Excel. Oh yeah, I did. Here it is. Oh no, I didn't. I did put a picture of myself. Most of, on most of my sales pages, there will be a photo of me and it'll be like, hi, I'm Carla. And it'll just kind of like tell you guys who I am. Um, I didn't do this with quantum accelerator because you guys jumped in so gosh darn fast that I don't even think I had a chance to even build out my web web page before we all jumped in. But here, I'll show you another example here. Let's see, artificial intelligence. Um, like here's like, hello, beautiful one. My name is Carla Sampson. I'm here to be your guide through this transformational eight week process. So you guys can include pictures of yourself. You can include what they receive, right? So in artificial intelligence, it'll say, it says you will receive. And then it gives, and then I have like four Zoom connection spaces, daily online course home play, four ecstatic dance pleasure playlists, private Facebook group. And I kind of explain what's inside of all of those. And then what is the timeline like for each module? So you can go into describing each module. Like here's my module for presence. Here's my module for beauty. I'm explaining like what's in each and every one of these modules. And if you don't have modules, because obviously the crystalline cleanse does not have a module, like doesn't have necessarily modules, but this would be your time to like just dis describe like what they get and what's inside the program. And then you can do a call out, this is for you if, um, let's see where did I put that? Yeah, this is for you if, and then I put little bu bullet points for, you know, really talking to like one, talking to the heart of that one woman that you're really calling in. Like you desire to reset your mindset. You are done with your emotions running the show and so on and so forth. Cool. Are we good up until this point? Um, we've already talked about introducing yourself. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's like, that is pretty much the deal, yo. I, I end up including in the beginning, I always include like some beautiful emotional kind of like really talking to the heart of the woman right? Like, welcome, beautiful. I see you, sister. You desire living a happy, beautiful life. You, you wish to have outstanding relationships. So I'm really talking to not her pain points, but her pleasure points, right? I'm talking to like, this is what you really desire in your life. This is what you are creating in your life. Oops. And so you guys can always go to my, I, I, since I'm moving over to Kajabi, most of my website, my heart, my WordPress website's not as updated anymore, but you guys are welcome to go to carlasampson.com and use any of my, like, and really look through my sales pages and kind of use them as templates for yourself as well. But you're moving your whole website to being housed uh, on, uh, by Kajabi? Kajabi, yeah. Guys, if that, like, 
Kajabi is where it's just so epically awesome. You can have your whole website on there. All of your payments go through there. You can track every single client. You can have membership sites. I'm going to start doing evergreen programs through there. There's like, um, what else does it do? Oh, it does pipelines. Courses, right? What? Courses through there. Yeah, online, you do online courses on there, pipelines on there, meaning you are like, it's all, and like you can do drip funnels through there. It's just like, it's really taking my business to a whole nother level. I got it 15 days ago and it's like, I'm so, it's like a love affair. I'm just like in love. Oh, I'm so okay. in love. <laughs> okay, I love the name. Kajabi. Yes. Uh -huh. okay, yes. Cool. Highly recommended is something to look into. Um, you know, obviously you want to be, you want to be aware of like the expenses for your business. Is two hundred dollars like? Is that something that you will definitely is that like? Is that worth it for you at this particular time? Um, for a long time, I was you know I was integrating Mailchimp with WordPress with Typeform with Calendly and like all of these integrations and Kajabi's just it has all of it and so I wasn't spending anything when I was doing all the integrations. Everything was free, but I see the cow behind you. <laughs> but there's um. But it's like, but now it's like, I just don't want to have to integrate everything. I just want to make it really easy. So what I would invite you to do, Anya. Uh, uh, just yeah. one more quick question about that. Because um, I'm also wanting to like soon get my email um, list going. And so do you recommend Kajabi then for that as well? I think in or the beginning, MailChimp is just fine. I think MailChimp what if, is wonderful. What if I just want all the things? With if you want to spend money and do all the things on one place and you're actually going to use it, then yeah, go for Kajabi for sure. And, and in you fact, don't if you, if you are going to buy, if you're going to buy Kajabi, Kajabi, sorry, what did you say? You don't need MailChimp if you're going to use Kajabi? Nope. Everything okay. is done in, everything can be done in Kajabi. Literally, it's a one site platform for your entire online business. I'm serious. It's epic. If, okay. Hey, you guys, if you end up buying Kajabi, please let me know first and foremost, because I can, I'm an affiliate for them now. And so you, you can actually buy it through my link and, and actually it will benefit me too. So yay. Okay, <laughs> post your link. Yeah. Okay, cool. Link. I will do. Yeah. I'll post it into the quantum accelerator group. I and, want to like today. Next. Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, if you guys really wanted to get on Kajabi, I like, we could potentially do a little tutorial because I feel like now I've mastered it in 15 days I've like given everything that I've got to Kajabi and I've like fucking mastered it like they called me and they were like hey this is your welcome call and I was like I literally have no questions I have mastered this <laughs> yeah okay I want the tutorial I feel I feel totally okay, called cool so, yeah awesome yeah and you can you can sell products on through Kajabi you can you can have a whole shop through Kajabi it's like it is Epic. It's epic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sold. Sold. <laughs> yes. Cool. Uh, and like doing sales pages is so easy. It's so awesome. Yeah. It's like, I was like, after, after doing WordPress for so many years and then getting onto Kajabi, I like cried the first night that I had Kajabi because I was like, it's so easy. <laughs> it's just so easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna do that because you just cool. completely have sold it. So when we get off of here, I feel like that will be like my next. I should call move. up Kajabi and like really tell them that I'm like their sales rep now, and they should be yeah. paying more for this. <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. I'll post the link. I'll post my affiliate link in Quantum. Let me make a note of that. Um. What I would invite you to do, Anya, is to really um, put this into your calendar. Make this like, make this pr your priority. I know you're busy in the next couple of days. Have your, have like a goal for the exact time or day that you're going to have your landing page ready to go. Okay. And I know you're a very beautifully feminine being and that, and that maybe putting a timeline on it can feel a little mm. intense. I'm, I'm wondering. But I'm going to, I would like to invite you to actually post it into the WhatsApp group. Tell us the date and the time that you are going to be ready with your landing page so that we can really hold you accountable for that. Okay. 
<laughs> and of course, you guys know that by if if you don't if you don't hit that goal, there will never be any disappointment or judgment or anything like that from us. Of course not. Like we just we will love you no matter what. <laughs> but it's just a nice way for us to kind of like hold you to yeah to this next level. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. And shit. Yeah. And then share. Like yeah. Mm. Cool. Yeah. And then share with us what you have in the group. Share your landing page in the group. Yes. Okay. Do you feel, are, are you needing any other support or how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. I feel like that's like, that, that's the next step in, in what I can handle. And then. Cool. And I do feel like I just want to go back one step really quickly and just talk about, you know, um, take like, not jumping into launching your group because you are launching crystalline um, cleanse. And I think that that is smart. I do feel like I, I truly believe that we can launch a few different things at once and, and still get the same traction that we desire. But it, it's more important that you have the energy that it's like your yeah. energy is able to like hold something. And so if you feel like holding yeah. one thing would feel more potent and that more of your stream of energy can go into that, then I think that's really smart. Yeah, it might be the most intelligent move for me because I usually feel like I can hold more than I realistically can well. <laughs> so well. Um, yeah, it might be just a, a wise move for me to wait until after this next cleanse and then launch um, the, the group. Yes, okay, I, and, yeah. okay, that sounds great. And then when is your, mm -hmm. um, when is the actual cleanse start? On the 22nd. Cool. Um, one thing I want to talk to the whole group about um, when it comes to launching. Alyssa says, how do we spell canvas? Kaja oh, it's K-A-J-A-B-E. I would type it into the chat. Kajabe. I want to like do like a like a like a ninja like kajabe like kajabe <laughs> like do like a ninja move when I say kajabe. <laughs> so good. Um, okay, I want to talk about launching, you guys. This is a big piece, and this is a little early to talk about launching, but I just want to put it out there just because it's something that's coming up right now. Is that you guys get to choose right like right now you kind of are in the process of creating your online programs and like just kind of getting the getting the things sort of organized and get like just feeling into your passions around what it is that you're wanting to launch. Um, just when you end up launching, and we can we'll go into this deeper as we go, but I do want to mention it, is that is that your launch depends. I'm certain of this, that your launch depends almost 333% on your energy, on keeping the vibe so high during the launch period. And so your launch period is basically from the moment that you announce it to the moment that it begins. That's a launch period, okay? And so when you are so if you are going to, if you feel like you're going to announce it and then you're going to have a whole month before it actually begins, you're going to need to stay so hot, like so in the vibe of that particular program, so high vibe every single time you do a Facebook Live, every single time you make a post, every single time that you put yourself out there into the internet, you have to be so in the vibe, in resonance with the launch, with like with the program that you are starting in a month. I used to do a whole month like launch from the like from the moment I announced it. It would take I would announce it a month before I actually started the program. What I would notice in my own energy, and you guys are going to have to play with this a little bit for yourself, because I think it's different for everybody. What I noticed is that when I announced it, and then I had a month before the program started, my vibe would wobble a little bit throughout that month. I would like be really high and excited at the, at the very beginning, like the first week I'd be super stoked. And then the second week I would kind of like, 
I kind of would stop talking about the program a little bit. I'd start to like get into other things and then maybe I'd find a little more excitement and then I'd, I'd kind of drivel, drizzle off my energy around the program. And then at the very end, I would try to like enroll people as fast as I could. And it was like, so my, en so see how my energy, like I think in a month, your energy can really go like this. And so that's why now I have a two week launch period and I always launch two weeks out before I start a program because I know that I can keep my vibe super high in two weeks. I know that I can keep coming on super high in two weeks and something, and I'm noticing that it has everything to do with energy. Like I just launched, or I just began artificial intelligence on Monday. My vibe wobbled with artificial intelligence this round. And I got like, I literally had like three women signed up for the program. And then I like really realigned with artificial intelligence. And I like, it was like, a, it was like three days before it started. I just like, I got really clear. I realigned. I did everything that I could to get back into the artificial intelligence vibe. And then I sold it. And then 11 women popped into that course. Right. So it's like, it has to do with like your alignment with that program because <laughs> the universe doesn't work on time. The universe works on alignment. So as long as you are in alignment with the vibe of that program, and do you guys understand what I'm saying in the alignment with the vibe? It's like you're in alignment with like the energy you like, you're doing the practices in your own life. Like for me, artificial intelligence vibes is all about taking rose baths, like putting rose petals in a bath. It's like anointing myself with rose oil and all of my chakra points. It's like talking to the, the goddesses and talking to the, the feminine ascended masters. It's like really being in those vibes. And when I'm not in those vibes, I can't sell artificial intelligence for shit. It's like, it's ridiculous. It's like the embodiment. You have to be the embodiment. And that's why it's really fun for me now because I run like three programs at once and I have to, and like, it's a different vibe. So it's almost like I'm shape shifting throughout the entirety of my day. Like if I've got a call with sensual success strategy, I'm in a totally different vibe. And then immediately I pop into artificial intelligence. I have to be in a totally different vibe. And so it's just like, you become a shape shifter based on the container that you are holding. It's epic and fun. <laughs> And in this, you guys can feel like quantum accelerators, like a masculine container. We're like getting shit done. So I like show up in this like different energy here than I would like in artificial intelligence. If you guys were to watch my artificial intelligence from last night, like very feminine <laughs> versus very masculine, very different energies. Okay. That was a, that was a trail. That was a, that was a tangent. We're getting back on course. All right. Let's go onwards. Lila or Ashtara, are you guys ready? I'll go. Oh, do you want to go? <laughs> okay. Um, hello. Hello, everyone. Um, so this week was pretty good. I um, actually had like a really fun thing happen when I was like uh, in the middle of producing the freebie that I want to offer. And um, my boyfriend has all this like DJ mixing uh, equipment. And so I just kind of like, sat down with it this last weekend right after our call and I was just like fiddling around with it for a few hours and I had like this one sound that I just could not undo and it just turned into something and I'm really super stoked and I got so stoked and so inspired that I actually bought my own equipment. <laughs> Legit! Awesome, snap girlfriend! Oh my I didn't need to but I wanted to! <laughs> but yeah! purchases out of desire out of desire it was totally a desire purchase and <laughs> i'm really super stoked because um yeah i just felt really inspired to like keep doing that because it was so fun for me and i like i basically lost like a day and a half just like <laughs> learning how to use ableton live and like playing with the equipment and stuff and yeah so it's really fun and um i'm really looking forward to what that's going to turn into but uh <laughs> Not quite done yet, but I'm, I'm close. I, I know I'm on the brink of it being finished. And um, last night I worked on the questionnaire questions and I was kind of like going through um, what I actually want to ask my group in a way to like get to know the people that are inside my group. Um, and a lot of the questions that I came up with, I feel like I was targeting um, either the pain point or the pleasure point or like the transition between the two to see like how much of what what I'm like looking for or what I'm trying to put out there resonates with the people in my group 
or how much it doesn't resonate so that I can like, I guess, hold my footing from there and know like what I'm in for, I guess. Um, and I felt really good about that, but I, I, yeah, I don't really, I'm not really sure yet as far as like what my next step is. And like, you know, I, I'm busy with school, so I'm trying to keep my activity up online, but not as much as I want, you know, but I'm gonna keep posting. I'm gonna just make myself post whenever I'm in the vibe and I'm gonna make myself post when I'm, you know, I have something I really feel inspired by. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's not really a question, it's just an update, but. <laughs> Perfect update, yeah. You're such a badass, Lila. I'm just like, what the heck? This woman is like going to school full, like full time right now. She's like just about to get a, like a, she's about to be a full on nutritionist. She has an online <laughs> brand that she just launched into existence. And now she's gonna be a badass cosmic DJ for the <laughs> global realms. I'm just stoked. I'm stoked. Awesome. Name. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. The ne so let's talk about next steps. Like, you know, we don't want to overwhelm you because you are in school. There's just a lot. It's a lot. I'm sure. I remember what it feels like to be in school. And this is like, so I'm wondering, did, so you posted your questionnaire. No, I have the questions though. I actually was going to ask you guys what you think of them. Okay. Do you want me to read them off? Yeah. <clears throat> when in your life has your confidence in yourself wavered? Why? What challenges have you had to overcome to love your body? What challenges do you still face to become your best self? What causes you anxiety or fear? How do you cope? Good and bad. Um, and then I have one other one. Oh, how do you find peace? Cool. That's, those, those are great questions. I would also fill in a couple of other questions about letting them dream a little bit. Because those are all, like most of those questions, except your first one, which actually I didn't catch. What was the first question that you asked? When in your life has your confidence in yourself wavered and why? So all of these questions are around their pain points, right? All of these questions are asking them to like really identify with their pain. And that's, we, we definitely want to know that so that we can coach on that and we can get into that and we can allow that to be for like powerful for our topics. But it's also like, they're going to have more fun in your, in doing this questionnaire. If you ask them to like dream up, dream into something like, Ask that, like, what does it mean to be an empowered empress, right? Like, um, what does it mean to you? Like, what, yeah, what does it mean to you be, to be an empowered empress? Also, like, um, uh, what would it feel like for you to step into peace? And I know you had that as, like, something like that for your last question, but, like, really asking them to dive into their feelings. Like, what would it feel like to embody peace in your life? Um, and then, you know, like, what would it, uh, like, describe a day in the life, uh, describe a day that would, that would feel the most empowering and fun for you. You know, just like, let them, like dream, let yeah. them dream and play a little bit. Um, and, then, and then, so like, let those be sort of like your first questions, let them dream. And then the, and then the second three or three-ish questions, let, like, talk about, like, the, what you have asked about and then at the end really ask like what is the biggest support like what's the what support what kind of support are you really looking for in your life right now and then I also include in my questionnaire like um I always ask them like is there anything else inside of Femme Genius that you would love for me to um to talk on because I I can shape shift and I can talk about literally anything basically but um but I, most of the time, everybody says no. Pretty much everybody's like, oh, you're doing fine, you're doing great. But there's occasionally some people are like, well, this is something that I've been seeing in my life and I'm, and I'm just wondering what your opinion on it. And that like gives me so much juice to like go in and talk about that. So you can actually like be like, is there anything inside of Empress Empower of Empowerment that you would like me to cover in the areas of like empower, like, body image empowerment like and just you can list off a few things to like kind of give them cues okay i like that 
Yeah. And that's your next step. Like you're like, well, I don't know what my next step is, but that's your next, that'll be your next step. <laughs> Okay. Your next step will really, it will, it'll be about posting that questionnaire and also like, um, getting really clear on what your, like, what do they win? What's like, what's the, uh, like, why would they like, what, yeah. What did they get? I thought it'd be fun to do, like try to do a coaching session. Cool. Like just for, okay. even for just for practice, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. This is an amazing opportunity to practice <laughs> for sure. And you guys be sure to record your these coaching sessions that they um that you end up doing because you can re you can re-listen to it and you can get so much content out of what they share in that in that uh, coaching session that's why i give away a lot of free coaching because i like because then i have so much content to play with so yeah okay cool like a sit like a 60 minute coaching session or how do you feel yeah or two thirty minute i don't know I'd go into 60, um, or maybe just a 40, like 45 to 60. Cause okay. you really get like in 30 minutes, you really have, you really like, um, cause if you're f just getting to know somebody for the first time, you sort of need to hear their entire story. Right. Uh, okay. next week we'll go into, I know we said we were going to do discovery calls this week, guys, but we're going to, we're not going to do discovery calls this week. We're going to have, we're going to go into, we're going to go and just discover, I'll, I will do a Facebook live on discovery calls next Monday. Okay. Um, because what I'm going to invite you guys to do is actually give away a free coaching session to every single person that has, that like, um, that writes in your questionnaire. I like that idea. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just to get started on it. I just like, I'm okay. excited to do the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And that goes for everybody. Every, like everyone's going, everybody get, everyone that participates gets not a 60 minute, they get a 30 minute session with you. Um, so, and those are basically, uh, those are basically discovery calls where it, those are sales calls, but, we, but they're, but they're like, I call it, we call them breakthrough sessions. And we'll, I will talk about those on Monday. What was your question, Lila? Oh, I was just thinking, um, cause I, and I realized that you usually do it with the hat, but like, is there any time that you, uh, decide the winner? Like, yeah, based that's, on that's, that's really fun too. And I've done that one time. I like, I like the, often it's really hard for me to like choose one person because there's so many amazing submissions. So it's like, I, it's hard. So I often do the hat thing, but what I will, if you are going to choose one person, then what you can do is in your, you know how type forms at the beginning before they get started there, you can put some text in there. Um, you can be like, you know, really, like really carve out a good 20 minutes to really dig into these questions. They're going to be so beneficial for you, but the person that I, that I feel gives the most thought and the most dedication to these questions is the person that I will choose. So you can let people know that like based on how they, how they answer, they might, they will win. Yeah, because I like, I like the idea of pulling it out of a hat, but I also like the idea of being like, well, you know, like, yeah. there's like one person that's like, obviously, like, super inspired by my questions or whatever. Totally. Yeah. And, and honestly, like, what you can do is you can do what I was just talking about of like, writing in there and being like based on your answers i will choose the person but then you'll you can say like i will come on and and announce the winner at 3:33 on may 22nd um and so it's stay tuned and then on that facebook live you can get on that facebook live if there's a bunch of awesome submissions you can get on that facebook live and be like there were three people that i really really felt like answered these questions with great dedication and really put their heart into it and so instead of choosing that person, I'm actually going to put them in the hat and then you can still do the hat thing. Okay. Okay. I like that idea too. Yeah. Cool. And then, um, something that I'm noticing that's kind of getting in the way of me being, uh, as present online as I want to be is the actual, um, technology aspect to it. I tried to like, <clears throat> 
so I, I've told you this before, I kind of keep my mornings for like sacred me time and I don't like to um, get out into social media or online or do anything too much uh, in the morning time. And I, and I know you've, that you've spoken about if you get on there earlier, if you post earlier, you'll get more eyes. And so I tried to, um, I down, downloaded Planoly or plan Planoly or whatever, and I tried to use it and it didn't work. And I was like, come on, I just want, I just want it to work. <laughs> Um, mm. so I don't know I'm, well, you're, I'm debating you're for Instagram right yeah because I just I figured it'd be easy to to like make that yeah do it for me on a schedule did you look into why it didn't work that doesn't make any sense I think it didn't work because Instagram updated their um like how much access third-party apps have yeah. and Facebook did the same thing but um, gotcha. it didn't, it didn't seem like it wasn't going to work. And so I don't know. Um, I used to use this app called L L later. And oh I yeah. I've heard about that one. Yeah. I like Do you later. like that one better? I like it a lot. Yeah. I like, yeah, I use later more than I use Planoly. Okay. I use Planoly mostly to, uh, to crop my photos in pretty in like the three different ways you know what I'm talking about yeah so that's why I use Planoly I use later for for automation and for scheduling posts okay cool yeah yeah because I'd like to be online earlier but like I can't I don't physically want to put my energy out there earlier I think Does that's that make sense? phenomenal Lila and I don't think you should get online earlier I think yeah yeah let the morning be your sacred time for sure okay. yes Totally. Yeah. Okay. I think automation is great. It is our friend. Yeah. And I'm definitely a fan of things being easier. Mm -hmm. Like my time is more important to me. than Yes. Work smarter, not harder. Yes. For sure. Okay. Beautiful. Lila. Uh, thank you for sharing. We're going to move onwards to Ashtara. Um, but yeah, this week, maybe tomorrow like maybe tomorrow morning posting your um maybe yeah tomorrow morning or wait till monday it's like friday saturday sunday we don't really want to engage in our groups as much but either tomorrow or monday post your questionnaire into the group okay yes anya says she really appreciates this suggestion for scheduling morning posts yeah late i yeah later is really awesome if you guys haven't used later yet All right, Ms. Ashtara. Yay, hi everyone. I was hi. just had to go to the bathroom. Um, yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, I was just feeling, I'm doing like a liver flush right now and feeling like some, a lot of emotions come up with that. I'm getting back to home base for the bathroom trip. Um, but yeah, just feeling that like having some questions of like, man, there's so much, like I, I keep up with an interest line. Um, and, hold on, you're, yeah. you're breaking up a little bit for me. Technology. Okay. Is that better? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yay, so stuff that's come up for me this week was just like, man, there's so much out there, what's the point? And then to coming back to again and again, like, what I have is unique and valuable, and getting deeper in this exploration, and the tangent was actually about, like, the shape-shifting was really helpful for me, because it's like, I love researching. I, I spent hours the other morning just like researching the history of Mother's Day and how it like aligns astrologically. And just like, I love sharing from that place and from this very like, this is how we handle intense emotions, like somatic, like three-step process. And, but then I also really love just being in the ritual and being in the like, yeah, more of the feminine, I guess. And so I'm in a process of dialing in like what how what my first offering would be or even just the energy of the group like how much of what and how to bring them together or if to keep them separate um and then also like balancing yeah not getting online 
first thing in the morning, even though the masculine part of me is like, oh, I want to share about this. But then it doesn't really nurture the the ritualistic part of me that is, um, you know, I'm still doing my morning practice and stuff, but really just like, like what I feel like my group might ultimately be in the beginning at least is just more of like where I've been and that but I still need to be nurturing those practices to be sharing with them so that part was helpful and I guess yeah just like a little bit more on that um would be great and then pacing feels really important like I'm in this for the long haul I can't just like you know do this for two weeks for like 23 hours a day I need to um find that balance and yeah the desire to participate in other groups and be like loving up sisters and being totally like supportive but then noticing like that is also can feel challenging because there is so much out there and there's so many women I want to support and then that takes away from the time of like me doing the practices and like the ritualistic ways of which can serve me and offering that um and then one logistical question, a woman reached out to me this morning, like, hey, I want to share about my song Circle in your group. How does that feel? And it doesn't really feel right, but I'm wondering how to navigate handling that. And then I have another, another thing, too, is like going back to work at the cafe has been really intense this week because I've been delaying on giving her an answer, which doesn't feel good because I don't feel an integrity of like, being really clear, like, yes, I can come back and work two days a week or like, no, I'm done. And so because I haven't been clear in my communication, I'm judging myself um, because I want to be, but I just don't know if I want to work there or not. And I'm having some, yeah, I have to move out of my house. I need to pay a security deposit on a new place. And just like, maybe I should work to just cover that. And <sighs> yeah. Mm, so much. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. cha, 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 cha. Okay, I think what we want to dig in with first and foremost is just finding clarity on, you know, do you desire to go back to work? Let's just find absolute clarity around that so that you don't need to keep putting, because when we don't have a clear decision, when we're feeling in this, just the energy of indecisiveness, then our energy is pulling us this way and our energy is pulling us that way. Now the universe wants to support our energy, but when we don't have a clear yes and when we don't have a clear no, we are unable to give a really, we're unable to create a crystal clear portal for the universe to actually support us. What I realized in my life was that, um, with uh, what I have realized with working with clients, let's say that, is that I have noticed that there are some people that really, really need to like quit everything else in order to go full on all in 100% into their business. Um, that's my energy is that like, I need to like, I just need to burn everything else down for me to like fully commit to that was my, that was my energy when I started and created my online business it was like, I just need to burn everything down for me to create my online business. And then the universe was able to come in and support me there. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. now there's another type of energy that I have noticed and worked with, and that is the woman that really needs to have her basic needs met in the security met by working another job in order to feel, um, like safe so that she's able to do like to start to slow a little more slowly, but still able to create her online business. For me, I need a fire under my ass. Like I want the whole, like I want to like, I almost want to risk everything in order to make, to like, like let the universe prove itself and be like, let's do this. I'm going to quit everything so that I'm able to like do everything with my business. That's my, that's how I am. Now I, I, I recognize and realize that there are just different energies of how we work. And so if you feel like it helps you to, to feel safe and supported, to have this side job of maybe two days a week or however much you would feel like that would give you the money and support that you would need. It's not that that's bringing you down. Like having another job doesn't like bring you down. Having another job is an incredible, it's an incredible opportunity because it allows you to have the resources to pour into what you really love to do. Right. 
And so it's just about how you feel, like what would be the greatest support? And honestly, like support doesn't mean like having the finances. The support means like having the, it could have the finances or you could have the motivation, right? And there's two different, like there, there's just, there's a lot of different routes to go, but ultimately there's like two routes. It's like, would, does it feel better to just like burn everything down so that you can put everything that you've got into your business? Or does it feel better to have a little security so that you can, so that you can use that security, like that, those finances to help to keep building your business? I think it does bring my vibe down just working with people that, yeah, I end up feeling like not great after at least when I was working there before so it's not necessarily about like if it was a job that was like yeah yeah, it's like this high vibe thing like I would be like great I'm down to go back to work and have this like you know these shifts it's more so that I'm like they smoke in the kitchen and they like just like complain a lot and then I feel like I like I'm such an empath that I'm just yeah. like but then the, uh, then the other part of me is like oh it's just in biking distance just do it for like five more weeks like it'll because I I totally went with the route in the fall of um I quit everything and then I had no money and then my mom had to bail me out so many times I'm like oh I don't really want to repeat that pattern either and I'm feeling so much like emotion around it right now too. Mm, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm so I'm going to ask you if there could potentially be a belief that you were to get out of that out of the job that really you're empathic around and it really brings your vibe down. Could you create a belief that you could get out of that job and that you could also support yourself and that you wouldn't need your mom to bail you out in that particular situation? Could there be a particular dimension that you could step into, like a timeline that like that creates that as a reality? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and your tears are so welcome here, Ashtara. <laughs> Absolutely. And we are so here to support you in moving this energy and creating this new timeline for yourself around what is possible. And <sighs> And it's so big and it's so beautiful. And just from my own personal experience, and this is something that just came so recently to me, is that I, you, you probably know that I've been a circus performer for many years and I've been working in the circus arts for a lot of time. And, um, and, the, and I'm, an, I'm, I'm so empathic, it's insane. Like I have, to, I have to just be so aware of who I spend my time with and what I, and these, like being a circus artist made, like, made me go to these, like I was going to these parties where people were drinking and smoking and being like, it's just so unconscious, right? It's so unconscious. And I was picking up all of that energy. And then I would, I would not understand why for two days after I would go to and do these circus performance arts that I would like, I'd have to lay in bed and I like couldn't do anything. And I would feel so much and I like, I would get angry and I'd get mad and I'd get so like so many, so much energy. And it was literally like the greatest gift in my life. And I sometimes like, it's so silly to say this, but coronavirus is the greatest gift I could have received because it made me, it like literally like cut me off from any circus performance that I had for the last two months and shoot the energy like my energy has gotten so big and I've started to manifest on these next levels it's been so insane and it's I really believe that it's like it cut me off like I couldn't go to my yoga studio anymore and I couldn't go to circus performance anymore and all I could do is be in my own energy field and create this new reality for myself and jump into a new timeline. And holy moly, was that awesome. And so I do really want to like, just remember that you are in such a supportive space here to empower yourself around money, to empower yourself around stepping into finance, like being a financially wealthy woman over a lifetime. And that this has to do with creating a belief that you can create that timeline for yourself, that you can create this opportunity for yourself to, to like, to get into your own energy field, to get into your own energy portal and to create wealth for yourself. I mean, you're already attracting, like 
by you attracting a millionaire man into your life who's like who's giving you all of these like little tidbits that's you starting to magnetize wealth into your life because we don't manifest money we manifest people and their power we do write this down guys don't forget this we don't manifest money we manifest people and their power so the people that you are manifesting into your life they are literally the conduit that brings you more power meaning more energy meaning more money and so by you like by you start manifesting this man into your life you literally are manifesting this his power into your life and so just that alone is showing me that you are becoming an energetic match for this next level of wealth in your life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew like from the onset, I didn't want to go back. And it, it, there's, yeah, just this old story of like, got to be grateful for the job. There's so many people without jobs right now. Like, yeah. Ooh, but, have you watched my Destiny by Design Facebook Live from the last year, from yesterday? No, not yet. Don't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> that I talk about like what it means to feel guilty for being a woman that's ambitious and wants more in a world where there's so much scarcity and there's people who have basically don't even have their basic needs met. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, mentioned that in one of them. Yeah, it's so true. And when I just think about like the vibe of being around the other people that work there, I don't know. I don't know. I do know. You do know. I can feel it in you. <laughs> we support you no matter what, but it really does feel like to me, like your energy will get so clear by you taking a stand for yourself, like taking a next level mm -hmm. stand for yourself emailing that woman and just saying thank you so much for this opportunity i'm so grateful but i'm going to be working on my own business at this particular time <laughs> and really taking a stand for that because when because if you show up for yourself the universe shows up for you a thousand times over and i know mm -hmm. that there's an old story of like of you've tried this before and then your mom had to bail you out but that's an old story and you're here now <laughs> And you're creating yeah. a new story for yourself. In fact, you're creating a ridiculously awesome new story for yourself. <laughs> I know. It's actually really crazy to even think about. Like, I woke up this morning and had a new order for products for, like, $120. And it's like, woo! I would go and work an eight-hour shift for $120, but then, like, spend the rest of the day also recovering from it. And, like, yeah. Yeah. it actually kind of ridiculous <laughs> this is what we call collapsing time collapsing times me time means we can make the same amount of money in a shorter amount of time than what we used to take us like it used to take you an eight hour shift and now you've collapsed it into literally in a second you get a pit you get a ding in and you get a payment right mm -hmm. it takes you a second to get that amount of money that it used to take you eight hours this mm -hmm. is what we want to do like five years ago I was making $20,000 a year, guys. Five years ago, I was making $20,000 a year. Last month, I made $20,000 in one month. That's called collapsing time. And that's what we want to keep doing, right? Now it's like, okay, $20,000 in two weeks. Let's do it. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. like, really like start to think about how you can continue to collapse that time. You're creating a new reality for yourself. You're creating a new portal for yourself. And it's super epic. So amazing. I want yeah. to celebrate you. I want to celebrate that $120, $120 that came into your bank account this morning. Mm -hmm. This is evidence. You're just building evidence that it's working. Yeah, it's working. It's just, it's definitely the, just the fact that I feel this eminent move happening. And like, we have an amazing, like an amazing house in Hawaii. And yet it's was only for five months. And so it's like, ah, I have to find a new space and that and the expenses that come with that. And I'm, I'm noticing that that was a big reason of like, maybe I should just go do my, you know, yeah. kitchen job, whatever. Yeah. 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 I mean, moves are tricky, but at the very same time, like, what if you find another epic space? Yeah. What if it costs you nothing more than what you're already paying or even less? Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna believe it's possible and and yeah I'm just having a lot of clarity right now like if I go back and work there I'm like not gonna be able to fully be in the vibe like consistently that I need to be to launch a group um you know journey 
and I'm really, fe I'm like getting the intuitive download that I would like to announce it um, for a June 1st start date. Cool. And, and so two weeks before would be mid-May. So that would be in like a little over a week. Perfect. Yay. Do you think it's too soon? What? Are you kidding me? I would say let's launch in two weeks. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 No, June 1st. The universe good. doesn't work on time. It works on alignment. <gasps> so aligned. It's epic. It's amazing. I gotta believe. I gotta believe. I believe. <laughs> yeah. Your mantra from here on out, I'm going to invite, what if this does work? What if this right. does work out? What if this does work out? I wrote that from the from the call on Monday, so I'm gonna rewrite it again and keep yes. putting it on my walls. <laughs> Yay, Anya says Mama Maui is really good at blessing up her devoted daughters. Oh, that's so um, beautiful. Alyssa says, so believe in the in your we need these products, these those codes. Mm. Like, we believe in you we need these products and those codes is that right <laughs> i got it i got it <laughs> uh, yes <gasps> yeah i'm so excited and remember like you don't have to have all of the pieces to your to your program all sorted out they will get themselves sorted out let's just birth the vision like let's birth the what you're really excited about doing yeah yeah. Yeah. Can you speak to like, I know it's like, um, you know, purpose driven women don't scroll, but it's like, it's even beyond scrolling. It's just like, wow, I really care about Maria Stark's work and Simrit's work and Starhawk's work and Carla's work and Quantum Dula's work. And I'm feeling a little like, I can't even keep up with the people that I'm wanting to receive the downloads from. Mm -hmm. um, and like my like to do list of things to watch and like get activated with is just growing and then how do I and then like this yeah this thing that comes up of like I do want to increase include my codes and my unique expression yeah um, this is such a big yeah. deal I, and thank you for speaking to this this will go for this will go for everybody um is that I have two business coaches right now I'm paid I pay two business coaches do I go and listen to their calls not really Actually, I don't. Do I call them when I need them and say I need a one-on-one -on -one session now? Yes, that's what I do. I like, I will just tune in when I feel like I really, really need them. And I, and I won't make it a priority to go and look at and watch their calls. Like they're, they are absolutely doing badass things, kicking ass with their audience and their communities. But I don't need to, I don't need to full on participate with them because I'm working on creating a vibe myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it's more important that we create our vibe, and that we really lock into our vibe. And then and then when I'm like when I'm cleaning my house or I'm going out for a run, and I'm like and then one of these women like just pops into my mind. I'm like oh, I'm getting a download that I should probably tune in with something that they're saying. Okay. So no. just like let your intuition like don't go out of your way. Just like if you're if you're on a walk, if you're on a hike, if you're going for a run, if you're cleaning your house, tune in and let like let that be in the background. But you don't have to like sit there and try to take notes from everybody's things. Just trust that like you're getting the downloads. Like you're so connected to everything and everyone in this universe and in this planet that you get the downloads just by simply thinking about them. I'm serious. <laughs> Like it, and like, and then if there's specific things that come up for you where you're like, oh, I'm really dealing with this big struggle, and you remembered that I had a, a Facebook Live on, you know, getting over that particular struggle, like, boom, go and go watch that. But like, don't, like, don't, t don't pull out, a, like, don't pull out of your vibe to go be in someone else's vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then how that goes with like supporting other women's groups, you know, like I'm really wanting to be an amazing sister and support everyone. And I have so many friends right now, women that are launching things like way beyond this group. Like, yeah, I'm just like, ah, the way that I, de the way that I deal with this energy is I just like, if I pop into Facebook and it happens to be like right there in the, like on the top of my timeline, I will, mm -hmm. I will like, and I will comment, but mm -hmm. it's very rare that I will go try, I will go try to like 
look for somebody's stuff mm -hmm. because there's like there's only so many hours in a day and our hours are the most precious thing mm -hmm. our time is the most precious resource mm -hmm. and if you're building an empire if you're building your legacy like that's um you got to prioritize that over everything and and you and like honestly the sisters who will be the best support systems for you are the sisters who understand that you're a busy woman creating your legacy <laughs> and that you yeah. you don't have time to go and like jump in on all of the things that they're saying yeah and that like you just know, like you they just know that you're there supporting them from afar and then when they just happen to pop it up in your timeline you, your eyes are on it and then you can immediately just like and like love up on them mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. And so that's what I do with the girl, with the women, like in, with my coaches, like I'll go, I'll pop into their, occasionally I'll really pop into their, um, into their groups and I'll just let, I'll like, like a bunch of stuff. I'll just like, 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 and I'll just send a bunch of hearts and I'll just love up on everybody. But that's occasionally when it, like, when it pops into my mind that that's a priority for me. But honestly, like prioritize your own work, prioritize your own work over everything. Yay. Can I share with you the idea that I that is brewing for um, my course? Yes. And this will, this will need to be the last thing because we really want to get into the money stuff. And we'll oh, right, right, to, right. We will end up getting into um, coursework probably next week, big time. Okay, we can skip it then if it's better. Um, just remember that you can always come and post it into the group as well. Okay. That but I really good. would love to like, I'd love to like really carve out some spaciousness and some time. Yeah. And how about this guys is that at the end, um, if we have some extra time at the very end, I'll, we'll circle back around if anything is come up for you guys and we can dig in a little bit more. Perfect. Yay. Yay. And then just your, your home play for this week, Ashtar, is just get extra super crystal clear on, on that email that you're sending that woman. And like, yeah, and yeah. make it clear and like yeah whatever it ends up being we are here we support you but just get epically clear it feels like going backwards in time to to go back there yeah and we want to be here now <laughs> yeah yes <sighs> Woo! Yeah. supporting you yeah. and supporting that giant leap and honestly when we cut off like the the word decide literally means to die to it like literally means mm. to die like we when we decide something it's yeah. we're cutting we're cutting off we're like letting something die and death is not a bad thing guys death is like it's, it has to do with regeneration death creates rebirth and so remember that like when we let some when we decide something we let something die but that's something that's old and that doesn't need to come with us anymore and that can be really powerful Woo! Okay, you guys. So, with that being said, let's dig into some monies, monies, monies. Money, money, money. Ain't it funny in a rich woman's world? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, how do I want to start this? Yes, okay. So, for those of you who are, you, by, so I know that Ashtara uses mint, and I just heard, and I just saw that you are using QuickBooks, Alyssa right cool um for anya and for lila do you guys use any softwares or anything like that no not really okay i, I just know what i just know what i owe every month and then kind of check in every month cool yeah and i was just i'm not i'm asking that not out of like guilting or shaming you guys i'm asking that out of like just getting a an idea of what everybody's using in this program um Cause I don't use, I don't use, I don't use softwares anymore because I like to touch my money. <laughs> I think that when we can have a really close and deep relationship with every number that comes in and every number that goes out, we are creating more opportunities for us to create more beautiful, loving relationships. I loved watching your stories the other day, Alyssa, where you were like, she had like a, it was like you were like singing something about money and then it was like and then you were also singing about like i'm gonna take care of you 
and it was so cute. I like just freaked out when I saw it. It was so cute. <laughs> yeah, you said make love to my numbers. So I sat I'm down, good. I took a shower, made dinner, got the <laughs> container out with the QuickBooks and started looking at them. And then I'm like, Carla's gonna love this. I gotta share it. I chose like two songs. Epic. And then I had guys like hitting me up like, oh, you got your stimulus check. And I was like, no, I just, I've been dating my numbers and they looked really good. So I, I moved them in. <laughs> so it felt amazing. I'm actually going to do it more often. But yeah, the second song was just about how we deserve it. And it's, you earned it. And I got yes. chills. Yeah. Yes. I love Woo. it. Oh my God. It was so awesome. It was so cute. I was just like, oh my God, this girl. It's, um. Yeah, like the yeah, like we're really here to nurture and love up. Has anyone else gone on a sexy hot date with their with their monies yet? Oh, Lila. Oh yeah, us Snappletons. Oh, it started yeah. sexy and then it got kind of not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It starts off. The intention starts off so good. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going. So. This, what we're going, what we're about to do is going to hopefully help you guys with like keeping the vibe sexy <laughs> the whole, the whole way through. Um, so what I want you to first kind of, what I would like for you guys to first think about is like, where are all of the places that you receive money? PayPal, Stripe, um, uh, what are the other ones? Venmo? um like uh cash app there's so many different ways that we can receive electronic money write down all of the many ways right now that you like where are all of the portals that you receive money okay So that is receiving. And please, you guys, you can always, uh, at this particular moment, you can always tune in into the chat. And if you have any questions, write it in the chat. Okay. So now, do you guys, give me a thumbs up. Have you guys written down all the places that you receive? Thumbs up. Anya, are you still with us? Cool. Okay. And then um, now, my friends, think about all of the different places that you spend. So maybe like write down all of your different credit cards. Write down like what's the bank like and the bank attached to those credit cards. Write down all of your debit cards and the bank attached to those debit cards. Like any bank account that you have. Write that down. Um, and any other place that you spend, whether it be PayPal or Venmo, any place that you use, any place that you will send out money. Um, and it's like, Mo mostly on a like a regular basis you'll use these so if you only use venmo like once every like couple of months or something for a random thing you don't necessarily have to write like the things that you like randomly would send on Okay, give me a thumbs up when you guys have gotten all that good, all the places that you send monies. And now these are going to be your portals for tracking, right? 
And so now you can look down and there might be like, you know, three to seven or however many portals that you have for actually tracking. That means that that's it, like already looking at it, perhaps maybe it feels even a little manageable because it's like, okay, I have these like, you know, three places that I need to check in terms of receiving and maybe six or seven places that I need to check for, I, I know that I have like a hundred thousand bank accounts. <laughs> so I have like a bunch of bank accounts that I need to check in terms of expenses because I ha like have different businesses. But anyway, so just like maybe you have three or four to six or seven different places that you need to check for all for like how you are spending your expenses. Um, and so, yeah, I have got like, I've got two PayPal accounts. I've got four bank accounts open. So I have like a bunch of places that I need to check. So my, exp so my expenses take a little bit longer to check than my actual receiving because I really receive in only three places. So, um, this particular tracking, we're only going to be doing it for your business. You can do a different, you can do the same system to track your personal expenses, which actually we should get into. Um, mm, we'll get into track, we'll get into personal expenses in the coming weeks, okay guys? But for now, let's just, Pay attention to your bank, to your business. Um, what I would recommend, I mean, do you have a, is your business an LLC, a DBA, a S Corp, anything like that? Okay, no problemo. I would recommend getting onto um, just depending on where you want to open the business in. You could open it as a Michigan business. You could also open it as a Hawaii business. You could open it as wherever you literally you could open it wherever you have a you have residency. So um, you can get onto the .gov of whatever of wherever you have residency, and you can file for an LLC and get and get an EIN number that same day. It's very simple. It doesn't cost anything. Um, that, like, I would, I would recommend um, legally filing your business, guys, because then once, if you can create an LLC for your business, um, it means that you're no longer personally responsible if anyone was to sue you, if anyone was to, if anything was to hit, if any shit was to hit the fan, it means that your personal your personal um, holdings would not be held responsible, that it's your business that is held responsible. So it's important to, and then it's, this also is a beautiful initiation too, right? When we actually like make it as a real legit thing, it's like, oh, it like almost, it's like ascending another signal to the universe that we're like really in it to win it. Like this is like real and legit. Anya, do you have a question? Oops, sorry, I just muted you. You're all good. Okay. Um, that's, that is all we need. That, that's not like a business license though. We file for LLC. Is that business yep. license? I thought that business license costs so, more money. So your LLC will not cost any money. If you are going to get additional insured, like if you were going to insure your business or if you were going to insure yourself, that would cost money. And it might be different for every state, but I know that in Michigan, it actually doesn't cost anything to create an LLC. Okay. In California, I just remember I always like had to go to this building and you had to, there was like multiple payments. It was like a 150 and another 150. You had to like. Yeah, that must be true like, for California because California, oh, yeah. California does seem to be a place that, that like charges more money than Michigan. So that could be true. Yeah. And I'm, 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 um, I'm probably positive that that's like, that there's, it's going to have different regulations for different states. So yeah, look into the state that you are, um, that you are, have residency and that, and so, and then look into what that, what that could be for you. Okay. Um, but that would make sense that California would charge something for creating a business because <laughs> yeah, Michigan is uh, like very, very cheap compared to California. <laughs> Okay, so um, it says for Hawaii, I need a registered agent to apply. 
do you know what that is? Um, what I would assume that is, it, you've gone to like the hawaii.gov or something like that, yeah? What I would assume that it, does it give you a phone number or anything to, or anyone to contact? It doesn't give you anything beyond just like you cannot register for an LLC if you don't have it. I'm to I deep in time. What? I mean, sure, there's a phone number just somewhere on there. Hawaii is like second world country when it comes to. Yeah. Yeah. I think, stuff, so. I think it is important then to call that phone number and see actually what that means. I would, yeah. I would assume it's just somebody that needs to walk you through the, t the, the task. You, for some states, you actually have to go down to your court building and, um, and get some paperwork signed. So yeah. just, yeah, it's good to just explore that, guys, because it's going to be different for everywhere. And, and Lila's in Canada, and it's going to be different for sure. I'm not in Canada. You're not in Canada? Nick? I thought you were. Yeah. I'm right next to Portland. When, in did, Washington. when did I get it in my mind that you're in British Columbia? It's because Vancouver and Vancouver. Uh, it's called it's Vancouver? Like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's an eccentric part of Washington. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Every single time I heard you say Vancouver, I was like, she's in Canada for sure. That would be cooler. <laughs> I wish I was in Canada. <laughs> I thought you were in DC. For the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. You are not in Canada. Have I said that before? I probably like told everyone. I'm like, I have a client all the way in British Columbia. Like my sister, my sister lives in Vancouver, British Columbia. That's so funny. Okay, I'm so glad you corrected me. And yeah. <laughs> no worries. Okay. You're not in Canada. You are a state oh. girl. You're in the States. Yep. Right oh, next to weird nice Portland. Por right near Portland. Awesome. Yep. Right next to weirdo Portland. Now, I want to connect you with my good girlfriend who lives out there, Elise. She's so I cool. like girlfriends. She's in the, she's like a super in the circus community and she's, yeah, Ooh. so awesome. Okay, so Alyssa says my first LLC was done by someone from a bank that was registered, if that helps. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's the registered agent. Awesome, awesome. Yes, my friends. Okay, so yeah, look into that. Beautiful. I'm so inspired by um, Ashtara saying no to that cafe job that I think I'm gonna say one less day to hairdressing because that's awesome. not where my passion lies. Ah, girlfriend. <laughs> yes, quantum leaps. This is what it means to your quantum leap. Like, not just a little leap. It's like, I'm going to cut off all paths. I decide to cut off all paths. My energy is more important. Hell yes. So is yours. <laughs> Hell yes. It's amazing what, we, what happens when we say yes to ourselves. <laughs> all right. So, okay, my friends. I'm losing my track. I've lost track of where we were. We were talking right. about LLCs. What was I talking yeah. about right before that? Do you, guys you were talking it? about where money comes in and where money goes out. Yeah. I was just asking if we need to have an LLC to get a business bank account. And it sounds like right. yes. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but with that being said, you do not have an LLC to get a PayPal bank account, a PayPal business bank account. So you could work around that if you were just going to be bringing in money in through PayPal. No. I'm using Stripe. Yeah. Um, I would recommend creating a separate account for your business and a se separate account for your personal stuff. Yeah. Just to differentiate yeah. them. Yeah, I really do that now that things are going well. Yay. Okay, great. Beautiful. Now I'm back on track. All right, guys. So yeah, setting up a bank account associated with your business, you can set up a, a you can set up a business PayPal. Yeah, Anya, do you have a question? Okay, so um, what about when you are receiving PayPal payments 
that are for your work, but they're sending it friends and family. Mm. Is that not a great idea with- No, I don't think that's a, not a bad idea because then you yeah. get more money. <laughs> yeah. You get more money that way, but um, it does, I don't think it really matters. Uh, however, you still need to claim that on your taxes. Okay, so I've been really like out of the legal with money for- <laughs> <laughs> that's okay I'm gonna get I'm getting into it. Um, okay so I have a PayPal that I use that I use for my business but I use for personal too it's just for everything okay what, I, uh, for me for me personally I like to have my own personal PayPal account and then I also have a business PayPal account the business PayPal account will always take a percentage so you don't have the option of them sending friends or family. Yeah. Um, so, but with the business PayPal, you also can create payment plans. Now, with that being said though, Anya, if you're going to be getting Kajabi, you, um, no, actually I would recommend getting a business bank account uh, with PayPal anyway. It's, you do lose a little bit of a percentage. It's like three point something percent, which stinks, but also like PayPal will do such a beautiful job of, um, of keeping, of like tracking all of what comes in. And with a business PayPal account, you can really track your numbers in another, in another way. Okay. Um, so I would get, I just get a business PayPal account and start to just differentiate what comes in via just friends or what comes in via um, business. It's okay. just feel the energy feels clearer, right? When we can actually like just have two separate spaces for our, to, for our lives. And I know that we're all creating signature soul brands, meaning that we are like the living embodiment of our business, but it still does make the energy feel clearer to have like a personal space and have a business space. Yeah, I kind of feel with mine, I've had like, I had the intentions of creating the portal for PayPal with the business and then the personal and then the, the bank account and then the personal and then after the event and all that was like, everything just kind of like went like this. So right now I'm actually getting to be clear. This yeah. is for the bank account for the business and this is for personal. Yeah. And just start that like as soon as possible. That's awesome. Yes, Alyssa, that's amazing. And I, it yeah. has felt really crazy. Yes, let's let's uncrazy that. <laughs> okay, guys. So now we know where we are receiving the monies. And thank you for your questions, you guys. These questions are awesome, and they they they're helpful for everybody. I'm sure. Um, just remember, my beautiful friends, that from like for anything that you have done around money in the past is simply part of the past. And that we're creating a new story right here, right now. And this is a beautiful opportunity to get just really clear. I like to think of everything as being a channel, right? These channels. And when we think about money, I'd love to, I'd love to think about the word circulation. I love to think about the word channel. I love the word, to think about the word currency and circuitry because these are all words that relate with money, right? It's like when we can create these really clear, crystal clear channels for money to pour in, um, but when we have like, but, chan but channels often can get cloudy, right? Like water, like rivers can often get dammed up and get cloudy because there's all of these, there's just a lot of stuff in there. And it's like, we can't differentiate the water from the, from the mud underneath, from all the sticks that are flowing through. And that's us like pouring everything into one bank account. <laughs> that's us like not having a really clear defined, like this is my clear channel for my business. This is my clear channel for my personal accounts. This is my clear channel for this and that. So, so for now, we're gonna start to really clear those channels and find, so what, you, what I would recommend is to get a clear channel for your business because that's what we're gonna be pouring most of our time and energy into really tracking. And we will, let's get it, let's make sure that we do find some time to do like, to really play with personal expenses because that's important too. But not today. Okay. So now, 
We're going to go on a hot date with our money. And this will be at another time. You guys are going to schedule it in. You're going to go on a hot date with your all of your different places that you bring in abundance. So first, we're going to start off with the receiving. Because we want to get really high vibe and stoked about what we're receiving pr prior to doing the expenses. <laughs> because the expenses always like wobbles the vibe. <laughs> and so the... The task is to be a is to be a light warrior and to be a true like is to be an energy master in these moments and really keep the vibe as high as we can when we're looking at our expenses. Um, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna just show you. I use Google Sheets. It's free to use. I like I like it because I can put in every number and I can have a direct relationship with my numbers. You guys can use QuickBooks, you can use Mint, but as I said before, and I'm gonna restate it, I just want you guys to make sure that you're looking at every single one of your numbers. I find that I have a better relationship when I can actually put my numbers in, when I can like type them in. Um, but if you are doing QuickBooks, just make sure that you're going in maybe on the daily, or if you're doing Mint, going in on the daily and actually looking at your numbers. It's funny because mine actually wouldn't let me like pour portal over my account for some reason there was something going on there yeah I, it just wouldn't do i mean it has that option and, yeah. and then it said do i want to manually put it in and i was like i just stopped right there and was like i don't know <laughs> so yes i, I do Man, so what a blessing that is that i awesome. still get to manually use that but i will go to google sheets to save money um next year cool awesome yeah. Isn't it it's only like, what is it, like $8 a month for QuickBooks or something like that? Yeah, it was like $149 for a small business. Um, I, it didn't really look very clear on the personal, so I ended up getting Quicken for the personal because it was just like cheaper and just like really basic. But again, I can manually put in there too. Um, but once I get the feel of this, I am totally okay with just using Google Sheets. Then yeah. it's going to be so much, you know, I, I think this is a stepping ground for me. Awesome. Yay, beautiful. Okay, my friends, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull up, hold on one quick sec. Um, so you probably do your own taxes too then, huh, Carla? I don't. I have a lady that does my taxes. I mean, I send her all of I send her all the information, but I just don't want to be responsible. I want her to be the one that would like show up for me in court if I was to ever be audited. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So I have a lady that does my taxes. Well, and it sounds like you're spending enough time with your numbers that when you hand it over, it's very I feel very confident about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my friends. So first and foremost, let's play with how do you actually create a, a spreadsheet? So all you need to do is write in Google Sheets and um, through one of your email addresses, you can go to Google Sheets and Google Sheets will bring up all of your sheets. Now you guys can see like, look here, I have profit and expenses for January, December, November, October. I have like, adjusted every month right i have profit and expenses and so um i've made a copy of the of the profit and expenses for may 2020 and i've just cleared it out here just so that i can show you guys the basic copy um all you need to do for creating a new sheet is you go to this plus button that says blank you see that plus button that says blank um, you're going to create a copy or you're going to create one and what it will look like. Actually, let me show you what it'll look like when I um, bring it up. What I'm going to invite you guys to do is if any panicky feelings come up during this particular session, just take a, like, take a moment, take a deep breath and just let it, like, let it come back into center. This is what it will look like when 
you do when you first get into a spreadsheet. You can come up here. Has anyone used spreadsheets before? Just by a raise of hands. Lila looks like, yeah. Okay, cool. A little bit. Would it be helpful for me to go over like how to actually create a spreadsheet? I mean, just like the basic simple but building blocks of one? Yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down? I'm seeing some thumbs up. So, and Lila says, whatever. I'm, d I'm down for whatever. <laughs> okay, so here, my friends, is where you will write in like profit and expenses May 2020. Okay. Now, up here, you're going, um, is where you can write, uh, so you'll look at all of the places that you wrote down, wrote down that you receive money. So I would put like Fem Genius PayPal, because that's one place that I receive. How, how do you, so if it's longer than the box, you can go up to the top here and there'll be a little arrow and you can pull it out so that you have this, what says Fem Genius, what you, it like says the whole thing is within the box. How did I write this? Okay, I put profit and a, I put profit and I put, did I put profit and reason? No. Here it is. And then I will put, so underneath here, so I'll make this, I'll create this as a color. So I'll just click on that. And then I can come up here and it'll say text color. And I'll just make it a color. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry guys, I won't go to text color. I will go to the next thing. This is fill color. And I'll make it into a pretty color. Okay. And then here, I will go, I will say reason. I say reason and I say, Profit. And then I will make those a pretty color. Ta. Huh? Now, what I would go, what I would then go to is I would go to my Fem Genius PayPal. And in my Fem, in your Fem Genius PayPal, I'm not actually going to go into mine right now, guys. But in the Fem Genius PayPal, what you would start, what you would do is you would. There's a, there's a button that will say like activity. You're going to click on the button that says activity. It's at the very top. It says activity. If you're in a business PayPal account, you're going to go to the button that says activity and then you're going to search from May 1st until the end of May. Obviously we're only five, six days in. Okay. But you guys, no matter where, what bank account you are in, whether it be PayPal, whether it be a bank account, whether it be any, any tracking system like, the, like a bank account, you can always look from the 1st of May until the end of, you can, like, you can sort it by the dates. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so you can sort it by the dates. What I would like to invite you guys to do with PayPal, you can actually say, you can actually view the transi transactions of, of payments received, okay? And so you can actually just go to payments received and then boom, bada, bing, you, yeah. Mm. So then say for example, like for, say for example, somebody paid for signature sole brand early bird in, in in full. I would just write in signature soul brand and I would write in if they played paid early bird in full. I would write that. Okay. So as you guys can see on my template here, I'm overflowed there, but I'm just gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna share this template with you guys so you don't have to recreate the wheel. But you're gonna to have to change the, what it says by Fem, you're gonna to have to change Fem Genius PayPal into whatever you are using, okay? Obviously. So here's the, so I'll do the reasons and I'll do the profit here. 
at the very bottom, I have a total. We're not going to deal with personal expense for this particular round. We're just going to deal with writing in our total. And so the way that you do this is say, for example, let's say, like, I'm just thinking of how, like, okay, so say I'm tracking and I'm always putting my reasons here for what I'm bringing in. Yes. Now, if I wanted the total, I would click on here and I would put equals parentheses sum, and then it's going to pull up a little bar here. You will click sum, and then you're going to click on this button and hold down shift to click all the way down. You see how it highlights the entirety of all of the boxes here? I'll do a parentheses around that, and then I will click return. And boom, bada bing, I found out that I have a total of $2,175 for my imaginary reasons for why I was being paid. You guys, are you, so by, a, by a thumbs up, and you're also welcome to in this moment if you'd like to ask any questions. Are we, are we good up until this point? Yes? Okay. So now, say you have a second bank account. You come down here, now I have a Synchroblicity PayPal. And although my Synchroblicity PayPal is my own personal PayPal, I also sometimes do get business things in there as well. And so I want to track those. And so, oops. same deal is that I'll write in the reason, uh, like, you know, like signature, so brand, and then I would, you know, put the profit. And so I'm just going to keep, I'm going to, I would keep doing that for all of them. And then at the very end, I have a total here and same deal. I'd put equals sum per, oops, actually you don't even have to put parentheses. You just have to put equals sum. And then it'll come up and you click on sum. You click on the first number, you hold down shift and you click on the last number. You put the parentheses around it and you push return. And my imaginary income for synchroblicity would be 2,897. And then I would go to my next bank account that I receive in, my Align Divine account, right? And so same deal here is that I would write in reason and I would write in profit. And then same deal, guys. Um, you know, for, I don't, I have, for May, I would not have anything for Align Divine because I haven't brought in any because quarantine and we haven't been able to be at the studio. And so I would leave this blank if that was the case. Cool. So I love to go in twice, like I love to go in once to twice a week and do these numbers and really just like get to see every single one of my numbers and get to put them into my spreadsheet here. At the very end, I have what says Fem Genius here, so I would write in the amount. I would copy, paste my amount in here. I have a synchroblicity, so I would copy, paste my amount in here. I don't have anything for Airbnb or Align Divine this month. And so at the end, this should say May. At the end, I would then do an equals sum. I would click on the two amounts, do a, do a parentheses around that, and boom, bada bing, I found my total profit. 
for my business accounts. Sha? It's so, it's so much easier than it looks, guys. It's like literally you just have to go into your bank accounts, look at everything that you've brought in and put the numbers in. I don't even necessarily put in date. Like you've seen like how easy I keep it. I don't put in dates with it. I don't put in anything like that. I don't even put in who paid me because the reality is if I ever needed to find that information, I would know exactly like, oh, uh, in, you know, I, I got, I got $333 from this particular thing in the Femme Genius PayPal in May. And I would know right away, like, oh, I can just go back and look and find that. Does that make sense, guys? So I just keep it so simple. I don't even track, I don't track dates. I just track numbers and I track reasons. You have it as profit, um, but that would be your revenue because then I saw a little square that said expenses. Yeah, right? we'll, get into, we'll get into expenses in just a sec. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just tracking like income. And I say profit because I like that word more than I like the word income. Mm -hmm. It's like feels more magical, like the prop, like a prophecy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So anyway, you can, you, you can use words that whatever feels good for you. We will cut next. We'll do expenses and then we find, so this is like, this is the gross income, like the totality of the income without, without expenses even being put into there. Yeah. Does that answer the question? Yeah, I was just making sure that cool. I didn't do anything. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, cha -cha -cha. now, if I scan over a little bit, guys. I have business expenses, and then I have categories. Now, categories are what we end up claiming with our taxes, and so this is a very important piece, my friends, because you are going to be doing the work every month so that you don't have to scramble come April to get all of your taxes put in. This is so epically, this is like so amazing because then we're cutting out all of that work come April. We're letting, and each month we do it, we put in a little love so that we don't have to do all of the big work for our taxes when they come up. And so, you will have business expenses and categories. What are these categories? Now I've kind of like boiled them down to what I find to be, mm, let's delete this one. I've kind of boiled them down to what I find to be like, honestly, the most simple categories. Um, this is what my tax lady has kind of allowed me to do over the years. And so this is what, these are the categories that I use. Um, because literally you guys, when you're creating a signature soul brand, when you're creating an online business, like everything basically becomes, um, well, what's the word that I'm looking for? Deductible. Everything is tax deductible. <laughs> literally everything becomes really tax deductible. Honestly, Lila, like if you started to create a uh, playlist with your Ableton, like software you just bought, you could write that off on your tax. You can write off Ableton stuff on your taxes if you use that in your business, you know? So like, because Signature Soul Brand is myself, like everything is now is tax deductible. There's nothing, like literally there's almost nothing as long as I'm using it in my business that I can't write off on my taxes. And so, we would, we would then look at all of the different places where we send out money, right? We wrote down all of the many places, like whether it be PayPal, your bank accounts, your credit cards, whatever that is. And you're going to do the very same thing for all of the different accounts. So I also, I also send out certain payments through my FemGenius PayPal. And so I would, I would go into my FemGenius PayPal. I'm seeing there's a chat comment here. I feel like I've missed out on writing so many things off from over the years. Yes, this is your opportunity. I used to be, I used to feel that exact same way, Ashtara. And, um, and now we're, yeah, it's like, this is the, this is the year. This is your year that you are going to kick ass when you get taxes. <laughs> mm. Just have to let that go. Yeah. And be here now and move forward. 
and with more organization. This is it, guys. Like we can't, we cannot blame ourselves, judge ourselves for for like not being epic with money in the past. Like this is this is it. Like you guys are here to learn, and you're here to create new fun ways of um, of playing with the system. It's like the system doesn't have to be a bad thing if we learn it and we learn it and become really great at it, right? So with that being said, you will go through each and every one of your different bank accounts, each and every one of your different places where you spend money. And this is just for business expenses. But remember that like anything that you use for your business, so like, you know, like if you're going out for a night on the town with your girlfriends and you're just going out for fun, you're not going to put that on as a meals and entertainment expense for your business. If you are taking your girlfriends out because you guys are talking about business and, you, and you're actually mentoring them or they're mentoring you, you can write that off on your taxes. If you're going out to eat food or drink water or drink whatever, <laughs> not just water, <laughs> if you're going out to drink, <laughs> and you're drinking and having a merriment, but you're also talking specifically, you've gone out to specifically talk about your business, you can write that off on your taxes. <laughs> so, um, but you do, but, on, but like we wanna be truthful, right? Money loves truth. Money loves that we're, we are truthful with it. And so it's, if we're going out for just drinking and funsies, we're probably not gonna write that off on our taxes. Um, as far as car, like car and truck goes, like this is like if you are if you're driving somewhere for your business, they will not take that as your taxes. Um, for car and truck stuff, it's like if you are if you're parking somewhere and needing to pay for parking because you're going to do something for your business, you can write that off on your taxes. So start to like get really clear and look up, like just look up all of these different all of these different categories and see how you can use them to your advantage, okay? So this is, it's, these, are, like, these are not very many categories. Like what, like just look up Google, what can I, what can I, oh, in advertising and marketing, what can I write off on my taxes? And in legal and professional services, this means coaching. Did you guys know that literally you can write off quantum accelerator on your taxes. This is a tax deductible experience. Everything that you do in terms of coaching is a tax deductible experience, which is epic and awesome for us who are getting into this coaching industry, <laughs> right? Because we get to write that off on our taxes. Um, we're like, it's like we're giving, we're give, giving a little like love from the government for continuing our own education. That's amazing. Um, Legal and professional services means that you're like getting mentorship and coaching. So this would be legal and professional uh, services that we're doing here. Continued education is something that like that I, that's like not in the realm of being specifically mentored or coached, but it's maybe me taking an online program where I'm not getting specific mentoring around my business. Does that make sense? Is there a clear differentiation, differentiation there? Cool. Yeah, your crystals and your bowls, if you use those in your business, those are tax deductible for sure. <laughs> That's, yes. Yeah, same with like, you know, like the other day I bought, or you know, a couple months ago, I bought this amazing scent. It's cedar and rose, and it's like the most divine smell. And I use this only specifically, the smell, for when I get into my sensual success strategy programs because it gets me into the vibe. And so I write this, it was $75, this little tiny ass bottle, and I write it off on my taxes because it's what I use for sensual success strategy to get into the vibe. <laughs> so we, yeah, so be just like remember that you have so much power to write things off on your taxes as long as you are using them in your business. So products would be like anything for you, Ashtar, would be like anything that you use for creating your, um, your products. Um, for me, I, put, I have products there because I have products at my studio. Um, studio labor for me would be like paying any teachers or paying people for their work. 
I now need to create a category because I just hired my first assistant, Kelsey, who you guys know now. Um, so I'm going to need to create a new category for her, um, which would be something like, I hate the word labor, but, that, but that's how tax people understand it. So you'd write, like, if she's an assistant, you could write, like, personal, like, uh, like work, working or, lab or labor associated with your, with your assistant. So when I did have my office, I actually hired a kind of a personal assistant, I guess, a, a front desk. Um, I just didn't know how to handle that. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you do need to do with the state? Or do you just write it off and do a 1099 or like? It depends. Well, did, if she, she, it sounds like she probably made more than $600. I just paid her under the table and it was actually just a couple months before this happened. So if she really her, didn't even. If you paid her under the table, you do not have to write that off on your taxes. Right. But in the future, I would like to. Yeah. So what I. So if you have an employee, if you have, like, I would hire her as an independent contractor. And she would be, um, uh, and yeah, you would give her a 1099. Um, yeah. Okay. And that, and just remember when we have employees, when we have independent contractors working for us, we need to send them forms <laughs> before, ta before January. So just make a note of that, that if you have somebody working for you prior to January, you do need to send them a 1099. Um, Ashtara, you say, what about shipping? I pay a lot in sending packages out to people. You know, this is actually something that I need to look up because I have never, sh I have never in my business um, shipped things before, but just recently because of the, because of COVID-19, I now have started shipping cacao to people for my cacao ceremony. So this is something that I'm going to be looking up so I can keep you updated on when I find that out. Um, Will you be sure to post it in the whole thing? And I'm sorry, I'm probably talking out of the chat. You're doing great, girlfriend. Whatever. You just come in when you need to come in. That sounds good. <laughs> No need to apologize. Um, yeah, I would definitely have a separate card for like, a, yeah, a separate card and a separate bank account for doing your business transactions because that will help you to organize it for sure. Um, and I will post that into the group. Let me make a note of that. Okay. Now, are the fees from PayPal something we can write off? I don't believe so. Okay. That's a great question. And I would love to say yes, but I don't think so, unfortunately. I've heard we can, but I haven't yet. So I'm gonna look into I'm that. Gonna that would be awesome. That's awesome. And I, I'm gonna look into that one too. Cool. Sure. And then of course, like I have performance makeup and like performance clothing. So there'll be some things that you guys are gonna need to put in there that like are going to be different than, than mine as well. So. This is off topic, but realizing we haven't talked about what to do with our freebie yet. Yeah, we'll get to that. We're almost done with this. Cha, 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 cha. Okay, friends. So, with your biz expenses, 
you will find out all of the different places that you're spending money on your business. And you're going to do the very same thing as you're going to, um, I, also, I also put, most of the time I put reason here as well. Um, and so say for example, I like, like I, because I play Spotify at my yoga studio, I always will, um, I write off Spotify. And I write it off as a simple biz expense. You can actually write off a, like a business expense as a business expense. It's called other business expense, but you can put business expense here. Um, like let's say for example, Kajabi. And I'm just remembering that Kajabi is not $200. It's the, the beginning Kajabi is 145 or 149 as well. Oh, I didn't wrote Kajabi there. So I would put like, uh, I would put that as advertising and marketing. And then I always just want to remember what it is. And then let's say, like for my, one of my coaches, I spend 797 a month with her. Um, and I would put that as legal and professional services. And then I would put Sage. And literally her name is Sage. I don't just call her Sage because she's a Sage. <laughs> So, okay, and then of course at the very end, after I have found out all of my, normally goes quite a far away, but after I've found out, oops, after I found all of that out, I would put, to, I would actually put total here, and then I would do the same thing, equals sum, and then I would click on the first number, shift, hold down, click on the last number, and then I would parentheses, and then I'd find out my biz expenses. Now, what I will do after that, you got, and then I will go through and I'll do it for every single category or every single bank account that I'm, that I'm using as a biz expense place. Okay. And so after I do that, you guys, this is a, this is a big piece, is that after I do that, I will then go through, I'll probably have several advertising and marketing. So I'll probably have a couple legal and professionals. I'll probably have a couple business expenses. I might have one or two meals. And I will actually calculate, just on my calculator, I will, I will add up all of the business expenses and I would put that here, right? So what if, if it maybe is like $299 or something? And then I'd add up all of the advertising and marketing Maybe it's like 500 or something like that. And then I'd add up all of the legal, that one, legal and professional service, that one has, that one's normally around like 3,000 or 4,000. And then I would, you know, and I'd keep going. And I don't often have continued education anymore. But, you know, maybe I'd pay somebody in my studio like $400. Maybe. And so I just like go through. And I just add up all of them here. Okay, does that make sense? And then I get the total of all of them just to make sure that it adds up to the total here. Then I'll go down and I'll do the very same thing for this category over here, for this bank account over here. And then I will go back, oh yeah, where is it? And then at the very end, yeah, at the very end, I've put in my, uh, my gross income for Femme Genius, I put in my gross income for Synchro Publicity. And then I wanna go through, I wanna go back up and I wanna add together the advertising and marketing. I will find, I will, I will, oops, sorry. I will look up it. So here it costs $500. I will go down to my next category. Maybe here it costs $200. And so I will add up all of my different categories and then in the very final category, I'll come over here and then it would, it would have been $700. And so this is my, these are my expenses, right? These are like, so these are the totality of my expenses here at the very bottom. 
where then say it comes out to being like maybe like four thousand dollars in expense in, in the totality of expenses there um, and so then what I would do is I would end up taking my May pro profit and subtracting my May expenses to find, and then I might write like total here. And I will put that number, if this was like negative 4,000, and I can do equals sum, and I can put in those two, and boom, I've made, based on this equation, I've made $1,000 in total profit, or in total income. Cool? And so for me, I really only have three places that I send out money or and I bring in money. And so those are like FemGenius, Synchroblicity, and Align Divine. I also, have a, I also have an Airbnb spot that I take care of, but that's not making any money right now either. So, um, so I just have three, but you might have more or you might have less. So depending on what you need, you might end up needing to make a couple other categories in this spreadsheet. And you can just copy paste it. Does anyone have any questions? Alyssa. Um, so this is a little bit more towards the freebie, I guess, but I, I, I feel good about all the, the money stuff. So if we have to go back and somebody has a question, I understand. Um, the Spotify, you said it like, okay, so with the freebie, I'm using sound, and I would like to know what the best portal for a playlist without video, because I could use YouTube with the video, but um, for right now, just the sound, what would be the best portal to start creating playlists to have a good presentation? Sorry, right, say without that, what did you say, without what, without sound? No, with sound. With sound, what would be the um, And it necessarily doesn't have to, because I do video and sound, but right now I'm mostly just focusing on sound with the freebies. Yeah. So um, what would be the best portal? Is Spotify, have you found that to be the best to like link over your own personal playlist or what would I use? You actually cannot get your, I, from, from what I know is that it's really challenging actually to get onto Spotify. Unless, okay. you, unless you actually have like a, um, uh, what are those called? Like a label, like a, like a music label. Now you can get on, here's the back end of that is that you can get on Spotify if you have a podcast. You can get your podcast onto Spotify. But if you're trying to get music onto Spotify and it's not your music, that, will, that would, would not fly. You can't. No, it would be my own sounds. Oh, it's it your would own be my own sounds. Yeah. Sounds, everything, yeah. I would look that up. I feel like the back end of this would be, would be SoundCloud. I use, okay. I use SoundCloud to, for all my freebies. Thank you. But, but with, yeah, with Spotify, I think you actually have to have some kind of music label to like support you to get onto Spotify. That was the, la the last time I researched that. That's what I found out. Okay. Um, ooh, this was my light. So does, um, all right, so let's talk about these freebies. Does everybody feel clear before we go onwards about like spreadsheets and things? We're gonna give it a try? You'll figure it out? Okay, I'm excited. And you guys are, can definitely come into the group and get more support in there as well. Okay, so with that being said, let's take a little bit longer to talk about these freebies.
So as I said before, your email list is like gold, <laughs> right? Like you, like you having an email list is so beautiful. And maybe you guys have heard this before because Facebook no longer owns your information. You're in, like, it no longer owns your audience, right? Because when we're on Facebook and only doing Facebook alone, um, Facebook has the right to basically shut down your platform at any time if they want to, right? But with email, you, ha you have complete control over how you um, mar basically market to your audience. Technically on Facebook, we're not allowed to sell anything on our personal pages. Do we abide by this? No, but if you guys were to go onto my Facebook page right now and look at my posts, they're receiving an amazingly small amount of likes and I'm almost 100% positive it's because I've been selling on my personal page and Facebook's regulating my page right now. This happens to, this happens from time to time. I've seen it with other women's pages is that when we sell too much on our personal pages, like, cause like even just posting links, because when we post links, Facebook apparently takes that personally because they don't want people to, like leaving their, they don't want people leaving their platform. That makes sense, right? It's like they've created a platform for people to be on their platform. And so if we are posting our posts and then posting links underneath our post, Facebook is like, well, this girl's trying to take people off of my platform. And they actually will start to regulate that. Um, though, like any post with links, you're, you're gonna find potentially less people liking your stuff. That's what I have found is that there's less engagement when I post links. Do I stop posting links? Hella no. <laughs> I don't because I know that the people that really like my content are going to find me no matter what. Energetically, I know that people are going to see my posts no matter what. Anya, do you have a question? Uh, I can't. So, but I thought that you were supposed to then post links in the comments. Or do they still keep track of that? That's what I found to be a like a kind of like a get like a get over like a kind of like get through it kind of thing, and yeah. so that's why I, yeah, posting in the like posting a link in the comments seems to be bad like seems to get more traction than posting a link in the com in like in actually the the um the post to be determined if the if the link in the comments detracts but honestly it looks to me like the algorithm like plummets when we end up selling things or when we end up like putting comment like putting links into yeah. and they have like they have created the algorithm so that basically if you write things like um like check out the link in my comments or check out the link in in the comments below they they sometimes will red flag that as well that's just these are things that i am starting to notice and so we're just getting smarter as we get smarter facebook gets smarter <laughs> and as facebook gets smarter we have to adapt and so it's all about playing the system right what do you, what do you put what do you say do then mm, it would be like it would be like send me a, um send me a personal message if you're if you're interested in receiving the link send me a mess send me a personal message Okay. I hate to interrupt, but uh, I probably have to hop off, ladies. Okay. I got school that's calling me. I got stuff yeah. to do at four o'clock. So cool. I would love to watch the rest of it with you guys, but I'll just rewatch the recording. Sounds good, Lila. Love you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sending my love. So, um, so yeah, Facebook doesn't really let us like post links but we still do it anyway because energetically i still believe that everybody who's meant to see my posts will see my posts <laughs> okay with that being said guys with your freebie your freebie is sort of like the light 
that attracts the little butterflies and the little moths to like to come and to come to your light meaning your email list and so you guys can set up your email list either in mailchimp or you can set up your email list does anyone use email lists anywhere else beyond mailchimp where do you use yours well i so my website and my shop is on weebly and i've already paid for that and it comes with a free um free mail collection kind of thing like it can uh -huh. be integrated so it's like a pop-up cool perfect but i've also from the past stuff i've done i also have a mailchimp and i haven't moved forward because they're just two separate things right now and i'm wondering if i should get like a widget like the mailchimp widget and put it on my weebly site yeah or yeah. Oh, but you said Weebly, does it allow you to have uh, email lists through Weebly? It does. It's not as comprehensive as MailChimp. It's like a super simplified, like, gotcha. pick, pick from you three templates. You can't, like, put out automations. I haven't do dove super deep into it, but I don't think so. It just looks, it looks really basic from what I have seen of it. Yeah, I bet you you could get a widget to put in, like, due to the MailChimp widget in there. Yeah, I've done that before. Cool. Cha. Cha. So, um, so it sounds like Anya's going to go through Kajabi, and if you don't want to go through Kajabi, then I would highly recommend MailChimp. I find them to be wonderfully accessible for doing everything that you need to do. Mm. Okay, let's dig into this quickly. How are you guys? How's the energy level here, guys? Are we still feeling all right? Energy level still feeling good? I'm getting <laughs> hungry. Yeah. Okay. So let's, because we don't want to get too hungry. We want to be, we want to be on it. So let's, um, what would feel the best? Would it feel better for me to post a video into the group in the coming days, maybe tomorrow or the next day, around actually how to create with MailChimp and create this freebie? Or would it feel good to dive into it now? I just want to check in with the energy levels because I know that energy is energy is energy and it's everything. How would it feel for you guys? You can unmute yourself if you'd like to. I like, I like I've already dived into the freebie itself, um, but I think that what I'm going to work on is getting either the Mel MailChimp set up because I was using massage books and trying to figure this out before all this happened with the virus. So I think I'm actually going to use the website though and just put it out there to the universe that I want all of this in one to start off with. And I'm so caught up on bills. I think I could do it right now to really focus on the business to provide a good container for yeah. presentation. So I think I'll do that and then just start doing my, and that's what we're going to send the freebie out onto. The freebie we're going to advertise on our websites and we're also going to advertise it through Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Yeah. I still need to build my website. I've really held off on it for a long time. I don't now. think we need it. Okay. But yeah. Here's my true belief is that I don't really feel like we need a website to create an amazing business as long as you're really dedicated to working Facebook and Instagram. Um, yeah. I'll still need it though for like the event since I, I want it. I definitely okay. do. Okay, but don't. Because I work with a lot of people who actually don't have Facebook too. Okay, and don't stop that from you putting out your freebie on Facebook and Instagram now. No, not at all. No. Cool. Okay, but let me, let me check in one, one more time. Is like, how is the energy? Do you guys just want to jump into Mail, MailChimp right now? Or do you want me to post a video on it later? I feel I, like I can the overview without oh sorry Anya oh. No. <laughs> finish what you were gonna say or I feel like a, a, like an overview at least would be helpful even if we don't go into super super details yeah uh, but I'm I'm also open how are you feeling Anya I was gonna say no because I'm gonna do Kajabi and do, it just I guess it feels like more than I need right now. Sure, sure. Okay. Um, but yeah. Let's, video? Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably the way to do it. That's probably going to be the way to do it because everybody's just sort of doing different things. And so we'll play in um, 
And maybe the best way to do the video is actually to, because Kajabi and MailChimp actually work kind of similarly. And so I'm wondering if I could just give you guys the automations without having to show you in the specific places. Um, basically what, mm, yeah, we'll do a video. I'll figure it out. We'll, I will find a way that we can create a cohesive video for, and this will be of service to the entire group. So yeah. that'll come in, like, in the next couple of days. Question about it? Yes. Just so if we're creating the freebie and we're going to do it in response to getting, okay, so you give us your email, then you get the automated freebie sent to you. Yeah. Or a link to it. How do we do we do that on Facebook or we put like how do we how does we into I know how to do it with MailChimp for the most yeah, part. Perfect. Perfect. So but that's my Yeah. So what you would do is on your is on your Facebook page and on your Instagram, you would say, um, how do I I just put like free I put it in capitals. I'm like freebie, freebie, like I've got some free, I've got some really epic, juicy stuff for you guys. I'm so excited to release this out into the world. Uh, here's what it is. I'm like, um, and if you get, like, just send me a, uh, like, like, comment, like, post a comment below, and I'll send you the link. And then as soon as they post a comment below, I send them the link where they put their email. And then, and then immediately, because I've set up the automation, they get blasted with the freebie. But where's the link to your website? No, the link is um, is just mm, the um, <laughs> it's got. Uh, I think it's gonna help actually for me to show you. Hold on one sec, Anya. If you don't feel like this, if if Mailchimp isn't gonna serve you right now, I feel like if you don't if you don't want to listen, you can log off if that would feel better for you. Okay, I have to piece of that. So that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really gonna eat some food because I do feel like my body really needs it right now. Okay, uh, Ashtara, I am feeling like it would feel better to just post a video about this later, probably in the next couple of days. Just wanna make sure, I want to make sure that all the ladies feel feel like taken care of, able to clear out their bladder and able to feed themselves mm -hmm. efficiently. So, all right, beautiful ones. Let's call it good for today. This has been an epic call. <laughs> We've got, there's like so much information. So just give yourself some time to really ground, move your bodies and integrate all of this. And, um, and remember that we're still on a massive journey together. We're only in week three and we've got seven more weeks, right? Seven, eight, nine, eight, eight. No, six mm. more, three, seven. I'm hungry too. Love you guys so much. <laughs> Love you. Okay, I will see you guys soon. So much. Bye, Bye for everyone. now.